Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? <clears throat> I am so happy to be streaming right now. It is Monday morning at 9 a.m., and I never, ever get to stream uh, during weekdays. I happen to be off this week. I know I've been saying a lot in my stream lately, uh, and I'm super excited to be to be able to stream at this time. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to be doing some Quantanium mining today. I have no big surprise. Uh, that's my thing. That's the thing I like to do so much in the game. And uh, we're going to take a look at Prospector 2. And Prospector 2 has got the VK00. <coughs> and um, it has um, the MH1 Lancet, uh, an FLTRXL, and a couple of brands, just like I like to run it. So. <clears throat> yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, pull Prospector 2 and head over to Leary and get started. Now, it's going to be interesting Welcome to see. This is to definitely not my normal time system. slot. So, kind of fun in that regard. Anybody who, you know, maybe is on, on the European side, you may need to touch early for them for Stand work. By. So, <laughs> it's great, you know. Your vehicle has been delivered to <clears throat> All right, so we're going to sneak over to Pad 2 and we're going to get this party started. Invictus is going on. Uh, it's still Aegis Day um, today, and I will definitely um, definitely watch a few videos about that. I, um, I'm not sure I'm going to make it over there for Aegis Day or not. I haven't decided entirely. <clears throat> and so, yeah, normally I would be very hard at work. At this point, you know, Monday morning, 9 a.m., sifting through emails, <laughs> you know, looking at, uh, you know, kind of what projects I have going on this week, planning that type of thing, but not this week. This week, it's uh, a little different, and I think I'm just going to kind of kick back and enjoy it for sure. So, do a little prospector mining this morning, and uh, that's what we do. Yesterday, we had a very good day in the air in Halo. We uh, put about 1.5 million AUEC kind of in the hopper. So we definitely hope that we, you know, uh, have, a, have, a, have a good day today as well. So that's always the goal. But any day you can go mining in Star Citizen in life is a good day. So we'll go ahead and set the route to Lyria. Looking good there. Up we go. Pull up the gear. Kind of pivot over. Spool up the drive and uh, let's head out. It's chilly this morning in northern Michigan, I'll tell you that. It's, I think it's in the 30s. Um, <clears throat> there's not a cloud in the sky, and it is, looks beautiful outside. Um, that's one of the kind of the weird things. I mean, northern Michigan does, you know, when it starts getting towards summer, we certainly can have some hot days, but still, <clears throat> the evenings still stay pretty cool, you know. You know, obviously we have those that late August weather sometimes where it's hot at night as well, but not that often up here. So it was pretty chilly this morning, but absolutely beautiful out. So off we go. We're going to hit uh, Lyria, and we're going to do some Quantanium mining there to begin with. Good morning, Pyro. How are you? Yes, quite an early stream today. I know. I'm off work this week. And so, I am. I, I'm able to sneak out a little earlier. So, I, I'm going to really enjoy this kind of time slot. I don't... Uh, normally, I would be, like I said, neck deep in emails and, you know, considerations for the work week, kind of plotting out, uh, you know, how, how I'm going to handle that adventure. But not this morning. This morning, I'm going... This morning, I get to go. Quantanium mining. Little trucker, how are you? It is morning here as well. I'm doing really well. How are you today? Nice to see you. It's funny, I, you know. Uh, I, you know, when you start kind of in a very weird time, and you know, I don't necessarily. I haven't gotten to the point where I can choose a good schedule yet. The one that I could know I could stick to. So I just kind of sneak on. So 
Jazzy Cat says, Monday morning mining. Nice. Yes, exactly, Jazzy. I know, it is. It's Monday morning mining. Uh, I'm super excited about it. You know, I've got a, definitely a nice, fresh cup of java. Uh, little Trucker says he's good, thank you. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get this party started here, so... All right, we're kind of coming out of quantum here, and we're going to look for a place in the light on Lyria. Ah, elsewhere will work just right there. Perfect. 222.4. Little Trucker says, it's my day off and had to go get up early and put gas in the car. I had to get up early as well. We have, uh, we live very close to, um to an elementary school, and some of our friends drop their kids off. So even though it is my week off of work, uh, they, you know, they drop their kids off about a half hour or so before they, they, you know, my son and their children have to walk to school. So I was up as well, even though it's a day out, you know, no sleeping in really, but that's all right. It's all good. Pyros has been checking out the Aegis Invictus. Oh, I'm glad that you are, Pyro. I was just mentioning that I hadn't got there yet. I've been having a ton of fun with the Vanguard series. Also had a tour of the Javelin, although it seems most of it's close handling. It's still a pretty interesting tour, but I understand what you're saying. There's, there is a big part of it that's not that's not open. And I, to I totally understand that. You know, but, uh, you know, overall, I still think it's pretty amazing, you know, that, and how, how big that ship is and, and that type of thing. So, all right, well, let's kind of get this party started here. It's a single rock right there. That's a single. That's a single rock right there. You know, it's got a 360 on this first one. There's a single. 12.6 is just a touch too far. See? Scooch in just a bit. Pirate says, quite excited for the javelin. I'd love to own one on my feet. Yeah, that would be crazy. That thing is, it would take us so many people to run correctly, right? It, holy mackerel. I think, I think I heard, is it what, the compliments in a neighborhood of 80? Holy mackerel. Could you imagine? <laughs> Trying to coordinate all that, that would be crazy. Pyro says, reminds me of the fleet carrier in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you know, it definitely, it's definitely, you know, a, a capital type, you know, feeling, you know, for sure. A couple more out this way. Like I said, I, I like to at least take a look at all of my options when I first kind of settle in. I think I did look at these two. A lot of single rocks. Haven't seen uh, any doublers or anything yet. Yep, lots of single rocks. So we're gonna pick a heading here. Normally, I kind of pick based on where the kind of where the sun is. So I like that idea. Let's go ahead and you know say you know, right around 290, 295. You know, we'll head kind of in this direction. We'll kind of set the scan uh, angle back to you know 180 or so, and and keep moving forward here. Pyrus says, 12 to 80 crew needed. Wow, that's crazy. Ever since the server limit is 50, I think you can... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. You, it's like you definitely you definitely could not fully crew it. That is really funny. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Little Trucker says, I heard there's a PvP event this uh, year as well during Fleet Week. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, I think that there is going to be some kind of a... Some kind of an event, it seems like. I don't exactly know what that is. Um... Oh, those might be doublers right there. I'll have to look again. Nah, it's a single rock, and there was one over here, too. Alright, we'll roll back out here. Alright, we'll keep on moving. There's one at 11.7. Beautiful. 
It's a Nine Tails event. Yeah, it is Pyro for sure. Little Trucker says, just logged on and all my UAE is gone. What a bummer. Yeah, people have been saying that, little. You know, like, the, you know, there have been people who have been saying that they're, that they're having, you know, having that issue. Is that more than one? Or do my eyes deceive me? Yeah, I guess that that's a good point, Pyro. Py what, you know, uh, little trucker, we have seen where people have hopped servers and kind of got their stuff back. Um, you know, that that can be a thing. It's not a great thing, but it, it can be a thing. Yeah, there's some doublers right up there. I thought those were doublers when we first. Well, they may. I guess they may not be doublers, but I think they they look like they're pretty close to each other. That's not going to be a good rock. You have to get within 275 of these. Yeah, you might try to jump to the, like a Euro server, little trucker, and then try maybe like a, a Aussie server, you know, and see if see if you have any better luck. Jazzy Cat says I lost my funds as well, and it took a, a character reset to fix it. There's another option as well. Thank you, Jazzy, for saying that. Okay, so. Curious if you get the scan results. You don't seem to get the scan results here on on the moon surface. Some single rocks for sure. Juan Carlos says, "Yo, what up? Hey, Juan Carlos, how are you, sir?" Able to stream a little earlier today. Pyro says, I'm debating if I want to buy a Hercules. I saw yours the other day and I'm quite tempted for the M2 or C2. Uh, the Moab missile sounds like fun. Now that would be the A2, right? The A2 is the one that's going to have the, you know, it's going to be the bomber variant. Um, I like the M2. Like, when I was thinking of the M2, I was thinking of it in the sense of, you know, organizational use for like a rock mining mission. I like the fact that it has jump seats, and I like the fact that it has an armory, and I like the fact that you have can put environmental suits in there, like your Navikovs or your Pembrokes. So if you were out on kind of a, you know, a um, extended kind of ROC run type of thing, it definitely would be something that you could um, use for that, just because, you know, it has the jump seats, it has all that stuff. So, yeah, all right, 10.8 out here. What do we got? Single rock this way single rock over this way just checking out our opportunity marker single rock single rock at a single there one right over here too all right kind of pull back no 10.3 away was a single. Well, Carlos says, yesterday can buy my prospector, but I try to buy the upgrades and the screen on the refineries are off. Yeah, here's where you're going to want to go, right? You're going to want to, Juan Carlos, it's, a, it's an excellent question. Dumpers Depot, for instance, on Port Alisar is going to have your lancets. It's also, I believe it has Brants there. So you're going to want to go, there's also Dumpers Depot on Area 18. So you're going to want to hit those. Those are the places that you're going to want to hit to get like your, your mining heads. Um, you can get, you know, that, that type of thing. Um, you know, obviously you're going to want maybe a faster quantum drive as well. But you can get those, you know, you can get those where you normally get those. But the, um, like if the Lancet 
is definitely something that you're going to want to have, and they have those at Schumann Interstellar uh, at New Babbage, or they have them at uh, Area 18, I believe in Dumper's Depot there. I know they're in Port Alisar. And there are also the different kinds of... There are also the different kinds of... Uh, uh, you know, mining gadgets and consumables at the different dumpers depots as well. So check those out, Juan Carlos. You should be able to, to find the things you're looking for. Damon, welcome to the channel. Damon says, hi from Australia. I have been following you and making uh, the buff for your tips. Thank you from your, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, I, that I, I do, I'm glad that you have, you know, Damon, I'm able to log on a little bit earlier time than normal. So I'm you know, I, I'm, I was wondering if I might run into a few people that just, uh, you know, it's, it's never a good time when I'm kind of live streaming. So, uh, you know, that's awesome. Thank you for telling me that. I, you know, it's what, we definitely do the tips and tricks videos specifically for that reason, you know, so people can uh, can learn and, and feel more comfortable with this game loop here. I already bought the Atlas, need to lance it and the rest. I'm going to follow your video about it. Yeah, I think... For now, right, I think that you're going to go, want to go to Dumper's Depot um, type of thing. I probably should put out a little, um, you know, a, a little um, tip video about about it. It's a good idea. Maybe I'll work on that a little bit later today. Pyro says, also congrats on 1K subs. Yeah, I hit 1K last night, you guys. It's pretty amazing. So I'm really happy that I was able to hit 1K and... And, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those things. It was very, very cool. All right, so we're over here looking, but we're not seeing a whole lot so far, which is no big deal. Opportunities. We'll work overhead in this way. Single rock. Ah, little trucker says congrats indeed. Thank you, little trucker. I appreciate that. So relaxing to do a little mining this morning. Oh, it's just, just lovely. All right, a couple opportunity markers out here. Juan Carlos says one thing: How do I activate the modules when I'm mining and I need to overload the rock? So it's Alt One, Two, or Three, depending on what you know, which slot you have it in. So when I have my mining laser out. Like for instance, I do have a pass of the FLTRXLs in my slot one, so that that I don't have to hit Alt for. But my brands, like I have one in slot two and one in slot three, I hit Alt three. So that's what you're, you know, or Alt two. That's what fires the actual consumable while while you're mining. Uh, that's the default, uh, you know, uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, Damon says, I know uh, you like using the pros. I was thinking about getting the mole, no or yes. Oh, the prospector. You know, first of all, absolutely get a mole if you have a situation. I mean, if if if, if you're gonna exclusively solo, you know, then you know, um, that that that's a little bit harder choice, right? I I think if you're just gonna exclusively solo, um, but I will say, um, first of all, I love the mole. The moles. A great ship when you have a competent crew on board. It's there's really no funner ship in Star Citizen when you have a competent crew on board and everybody knows what they're doing because it's kind of laid back or that type of thing, and um, and then you can you know make just a killing mining and, and have a good time and you know have a few laughs. There's some desync issues and some other things that make it kind of fun. Um, a, just just for straight soloing, I definitely prefer the Prospector. 
Um, the one thing, though, I will say, just so you're aware, right now the mole, there is an issue, an issue with the, that the issue council is aware of. There's a problem with the mole right now in that it won't extract. So I wouldn't buy one today because you, you definitely wouldn't be able to use it, and that could be, you know, potentially, um, you know, you don't want to spend all your money on a new ship and not, not be able to use it just right. Now, I'm sure they'll get that fixed soon. I'm not saying that this, that's a long-term problem. Uh, that's some doublers right there, I think. We'll head over to those. Um, and so, yeah, that's a... Um, I love the Mole. I think the Mole's a great ship. You know, um, I would highly recommend the Mole. Um, but as far as for soloing, I'm more of a prospector guy myself. But I never begrudge anybody who has more ambition than I do. Um, and I did... I have done my fair share of solo Mole mining. When I first got the Mole, of course, I was... Excited enough where if no one wanted to go out and I just took it took it myself, right? You know, it's one of those things So yeah, you can't go wrong with the with the Argo Mole. I mean, it's a great ship Those were not doublers by the way because they just Alrighty And, you know, and that's just my opinion. I mean, lots of people come in solo mole and they like to do it, you know, so I definitely, um, you know, I, you know, if you're going to own the mole someday anyways, you know, there's nothing wrong with, um, that's definitely a set of doublers right there. There's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, buying it and giving it a try. I think that that's, you know, you may find that you love solo mole mining. I think some people like the fact that it has the extra wiggle room with the 96 SCU and I can totally understand that. And when you do solo kit the mole, you can make one laser about breaking big rocks, one laser about, you know, kind of the, the secondary cuts, and one laser about extracting, too. It's, you know, now that's a lot of work, which you can do it that way. Damon says, I have a, uh, just lost two mil trying to get this cargo in the C2 in two days. Yeah, it definitely is not the most stable time to cargo run. I definitely understand that. Right, there's a couple of rocks right there. Let's go take a look at them. Couple of Quantanium rocks. That one's not going to be a good one. Here's down in my shadow. <laughs> That's funny. Now, bigger rock there. Uh, probably not going to be a great one either, though, for what we're doing. Uh, Pyro says, I want to pick up a mole when they fix the extraction bug. I think especially on Leary, the 96 SU is very nice since quite a few rocks have more than 32 SU. Yeah, there's there's nothing wrong with solo moling. I mean, I think there are some people that love to do it. You know, I, I, I'm i kind of of the mind if, you know, if in a couple of, you know, a few hours work, I can make a million or two. I'm good. You know, and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, the mole itself is when you get a nice full crew on there is just amazing. It really is. All righty, so we're just kind of going to check out our opportunities here. Single rot. Single rot. That's a single there. That's a single there. That might be more than one. That felt like doublers right there. Nah, maybe not. Nope. The um, it it is one thing, subtle change that's happened is the diamond icons are more like kind of a little more broke up. They're not quite as 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 that, and that is doublers, isn't that interesting? It looked it kind of looked, it definitely had the look at doublers at first and then I hit it again but I can see him right there Colton Yoder how you doing Col Colton nice to see you are other rocks worth mining at all that aren't Quantanium of course I mean especially like in the rented prospector Colton now obviously Quantanium is Quantanium is um, the most valuable right it's just it, and it's not only by a little it's by a lot it's double the amount um, you know and so that plays into the calculus for sure 
But, you know, if you're in a rented prospector, for instance, you're going to want to do Bexalite, Laranite, and Terranite on, say, like Aberdeen. You know, so, you know, they, they also have a lot of value. I, I made lots of money on Agrissium. Good morning, Grave Digger. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. So, yeah, I mean, I made a lot of money on other, um, you know, I just enjoy mining, right? You know, but most people, like the reason I do Quantania mine mostly on the stream is just because it's a good instructional for people. And, you know, obviously this is incredibly profitable as well. So, um, but yeah, I mean, Vexalite, Laranite, Terranite, that type of stuff, you absolutely could, could make money mining that stuff. And the, the one thing that I do like is you, you don't have to return home you know you don't have to like scoop what you scoop and go you you know you get a lot more opportunity in that re regard uh to kind of um uh, you know uh scoop scoop other things right you know spend spend time out there you're not on a timer when you first pick it up is, is kind of the, the most important thing i'm trying to say i think and so the, and that makes it kind of fun right you can go out for kind of extended and i'm going to get as much laranite terranite baxalite you know, that I can get on board as that I can. Will Badger, good morning, Will. How are you, sir? Will says, I really need to get back to the prospect uh, work. Just haven't gotten into the new scanning. You know, it takes a little while to get used to the new scanning, Will, but it's actually not bad. I mean, it's it, it's a, a little bit slower process, but I do like being at th this distance and being able to see if something is, you know, quantanium. So, Young Smooth says, space, how do you know if you will end up on the light side of a moon? For instance, Aberdeen, I come out on the light side. When I attempt to jump down, it puts me in the dark side. It's distance, Young. So if, you know, if if you highlight uh, something, Young, and it's four or five hundred away, um, you know, and it's not, it's, it's a moon, it's not a planet, you know you're flying probably to the other side of it. So, like, when I approach, for instance, Lyria, if it's under 300 away and I, it's on the light side, then I know it's it's right down there. It's on the light side. So, great question. Uh, I, and if that you know if, the, if that answer is not uh, uh, satisfactory, young so let me know. Okay. Um, Grave Digger says question. I saw a button to overclock the Lancer, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, it does do stuff. Here, watch it. Um, you have to use these top ones up here, right? You go here. You go to power. You go to menu. Oh, sorry. You go to power. You go to items, and you can overclock the Lancet. Now, prove, prove me wrong. It does work. I, I mean, I I've overclocked it many times. Um, it doesn't appear to be working right this second. <laughs> but no, you know, um, it's funny. I mean, in recent um, in recent patches, it's definitely worked many times. I've I've definitely been able to, to click overclock and have have it work for sure. Um, Young Sue says, got it, thanks, that's awesome. Um, yeah, Gra Grave, I'm, I'll, I'll keep uh, m messing around with it. You, you you actually, like I said, I I have had nothing but pretty good success overclocking it. Maybe that's a recent change. Um, you know, because it surprised me that, it, that I could. I was like, what? I didn't know you could do this, and it was only a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, and I've toggled it on the stream a few times. Will Badger says, Get ready, getting ready for work. I was unemployed for the weekend. LOL, boss called and asked me to come back. I, <laughs> Will, I hear how that goes. I, I'm off this week, which is why I'm blessed to be able to kind of to, to do a little bit out uh, here at this time, right? I, I definitely uh, am not. Uh, normally, I would be at work kind of sifting through emails right now. Uh, Gravedigger says, Okay, I'm not crazy. That's what it did for me. Yeah, you're not crazy at all, Grave. Like, it was working, but yeah, I just tried to click it now, and it's not. So, uh, I've seen it have different kind of, it, like, iterations, you know. And, and Star Citizen sometimes is, you know, just being Star Citizen in that regard. and No big deal. Young Smooth says, do you know what the dotted symbols are? Solid symbols means, like, it's... Uh, New Babbage or Lorville home plate symbol. Sometimes a dotted line around a solid line. Does that mean anything? Young, to, give me a little more context. I, I'm happy to answer your question. When you say the dotted line symbols, um, go ahead and let me know a little bit more of what it is. You know, I, I'm not sure I understand exactly. And sometimes I'm a touch thing. Amos, good morning, Amos. How are you? Nice to see you, sir. Alrighty. 
Ah, there's some doublers. Let's go take a look at them. Yeah, Young, I don't know exactly what it is you're you're referring to, but I definitely want to help. So, alrighty, in we go. Take a look at these doublers. Amos says, yeah, there's a, ch uh, a cheat sheet for the quantum symbols. Oh, I see. Yeah, there, there, there probably is a... Uh, it's, if it's the quantum symbols, yeah, there's definitely kind of a key for those out there, for sure. Um, you'd probably just want to Google that. Or somebody wouldn't mind linking it in here. That would be nice. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, Will Badger says, dotted line means it's on the other side of the planet. Ah, home plate. Oh, yeah, home plate is... A plant is one of the the, the landing zones. Uh, the square is a space station. Yeah, so so like a rounded kind of a rounded corner square is the, sp the space station. A, a hard square is going to be an OM marker. I'm starting to catch with you guys. I didn't realize dotted line meant it's on the other side of the planet. So that's a very helpful thing, uh, and something that I learned, which is great. Thank you for that. Amos says dots mean it's on the other side of the planet. Moon others. Yeah, that's. I didn't actually know that. I'll have to check that out next time. Uh, Jacob says, I think he's talking about the stuff on or near the far side of the planet. Jacob, thank you, sir. That's awesome. Uh, Paul Ferguson, good morning. BL, dotted line warp means it's on the other side of the planet. So that's news to me. I never noticed that before. I always went by um, just the distance I was going to have to travel. Um, Young Smooth, so I hope that that's starting to help out a little bit. Um, yeah, it's. I definitely know the home plates are going to be like your landing zones. That's going to be like Lorville, Area 18, New Babbage, or Orison. Of course, your rounded squares, you know, icons are going to be kind of uh, your Everest Harbor, Bajini Point, uh, Port Trestler, Port Alisar. And then your hard squares are going to be a lot of times um, OM markers, if you, you know, if it's near a planet. Um, and then it sounds like dotted lines mean it's on the other side of the planet. And that's something I'm going to check out because I just never noticed that. So that's really good, you guys. Thank you so much. Amos says, I use the dotted lines or the dotted or not dotted line to find a place on Leary that's day side. Fair enough. I have always just traditionally just looked at the distance of travel um, as, as my way to kind of figure that out. So, yeah, that's really cool that there's something different than that. All right, we're going to keep on scanning here. We're looking around here. Those doublers didn't have anything in there worth mining. You know, we had a hot day at, at, on, at the Air and Halo yesterday with the, you know, with kind of the gif, the change in the scanning, uh, you know, over that way for sure. So, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll cruise over Lyria a little longer here, but we'll go back to the Halo if we, if, uh, which that's been a long time since I said that, by the way. You know, Leary has always been so much consistently better, but you know, now that you kind of oh, there's some doublers right there. We'll go check those out. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, you know, it's pretty pretty good day yesterday, and you know, in in uh, did about 1.5 million in the stream yesterday in the air and Halo, just um, you know, kind of over and over, just flying out there and finding finding decent stuff. Amos says, "Yep, I use the dotted line. That's cool." Young Smooth says, love this channel, man. I can always get so much info from people here. As a new player, it's priceless. Thank you, Young Smooth. That's exactly why we do the channel here. Just for comments, just like that. That makes, that made my day, man. That's exactly, you know, the, the whole reason I stream is for those words that you just said right there. Damon Pearson says, have you found uh, more, more, more solo 3K 45% uh, rocks. Uh, I have just been hunting them fast now. Pops all quant, maybe up to zero. You know, um, I have a rule myself, Damon. If it's over 15 SCU, I just kind of mine it. So, of course, I'm always looking for the for the best possible, you know, the highest, the biggest rocks and the highest concentration that I can handle in the ship that I'm in. But, you know, if it's got over 15 SCU, chances are I'm going to grab it, so... This guy. These two rocks are not that great. No big deal there. Uh, Greg Digger says, also, OM1 is always above the North Pole. That's exactly true. Uh, so for max daylight time, orientate an OM1 to the top of the screen and pick a spot on the planet farthest to the west of the daylight area. That is an awesome tip. You know, 
Uh, OM1 is, you know, is the North Pole. OM2 is the South Pole, I believe. And, um, and that's, uh, the, knowing how to get to those poles can really help you kind of plot out that you're going to be in daylight mostly as well, especially if you're doing a fly-in on the, on the moon. Uh, Will Badger agrees. Uh, Colton Yoder says, do you ever set delivery boxes next to rocks to return to? Colton, that was, a, you know, a lot of, there's been a lot of kind of old, um, conversation about that particular thing. I have tried it myself many times, and any time I've ever done it, when I return, it's not, it's no longer rocks. So, you know, like, I can return to the box at that exact spot. The, the geography looks the same. It doesn't look like that's changed at all to me. But I don't see, um, you know, Quantanium there anymore. I've tried it with gray cat buggies. I've tried it with any. The only thing that's ever worked for me is dropping off my alt character, <laughs> which is, you know, not unheard of. I mean, you know, but uh, you know, obviously not something I do on the regular um, type of thing. But it just it was a curiosity of mine. And I know some other people have had different experiences. Those are doublers right there. We'll go ahead towards them. I know other people have had different experiences with that, you know, for sure. I've, I've definitely, I definitely know, um, uh, you know, once upon a time people did talk about that that, that worked. All right, so we found some doublers here. We'll go in here and check these guys out. I enjoy Quantanium mining so much more than going to work. <laughs> Joe DeMars, how you doing, Joe? Nice to see you today. I'm just starting, and do you know what I should do to get some? Get some what, Joe? Well, how can we help you? Welcome, and first of all, welcome to the channel. And if there's anything we can do to help with Star Citizen questions, just ask. I'm not exactly sure what you're driving at in this particular case. Just starting. And do you know what I should do to get some? If you're saying money, yeah. If you're just starting, here's what I would recommend. If, if, if you're talking about kind of AUEC, right? Uh, or some starting, you know, just get, get, getting a few space bucks in your pocket, which I, you're probably is, is what you're asking for, Joe. I would do box delivery missions to begin with. Now, I know that that doesn't sound like the most glamorous thing to do. Um, but I can tell you that it's going to give you, you're, first of all, you're going to get to see lots of places. You're going to practice your landings and your takeoffs. Um, you know, you're going to kind of learn a, a lot of the basics. You're going to fly in all sorts of different kinds of weather. Um, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just a really fun thing to do when you're first getting yourselves, uh, you know, kind of acclimated to the game. So, Joe, I would start with box delivery missions. That's where I would begin my... That's where, where I did begin my Star Citizen. You know, before I kind of hand mined and did some of the other things that I eventually did, that's that's what I always recommend as kind of the starting thing. Damon says, I hate work. I'm a truck driver. <laughs> I can appreciate that, you know. And I mean, I think, you know, we all kind of, you know... I, you know, all of us obviously who need a you know paycheck in in, their, in our daily lives or whatever, we just kind of make you know, lots of times just kind of uh, you know do what we can, do the best. You think oh that that's a cluster. So we got doublers right here and a cluster right here, you guys. So we try and just make do with, with you know the best we can for sure. So I can I can appreciate that. Um, I, you know I don't I, I I'm blessed. I have a good job, but I definitely would rather be mining and starts in this. Andreas, good morning. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. Well, much I know we just met, but I really want to stay home. I had a whole weekend of thinking I was just going to be unemployed. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. I get it. No, no, no worries. I totally understand where you're at with it, for sure. <laughs> That's funny. Screw you, gang. 
Ah, uh, let's see, Colton Yoder says, Bunker Mission, uh, Raid and Sal. Yeah, Bunker Missions are okay, too. I mean, obviously a little more dangerous than your box delivery missions. You know, uh, you know, make sure you mount up and bring it in. The, in the, that's another good question, another good point. I mean, do something that, if you're combat orientated, no reason not to do combat. You know, but, I, you know, I just think the initial little bit of time in Star Citizen, you know, maybe kind of getting familiar with your takeoffs and landings and making a few bucks are those delivery missions. Um, all right, so this is not going to be a great rock. It's the best one I've seen so far in that theory, though. <laughs> so we'll look at it. Greg Digger says, I retired from the long haul after 10 years. I can appreciate that. That's awesome. Well, Badger says, really don't care. Uh, uh, want to leave, but could still use income. Yeah, I, exactly right. Uh, Joe DeMars has definitely uh, came back and said, yeah, it's money I'm looking for. Yep, due to circumstances beyond my control, I am awake. Track. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Andreas says, sitting at work currently, will have to leave in 20 minutes again for an hour or so. Fair enough. Uh, and Pyro also makes a good point, um, Joe. There are illegal monitor missions. So you have the bunker missions, you have the uh, the box missions. The illegal monitor missions are also a great way to do some basic combat as well. And so those are ones that you should look at, the, the mission types that may be uh, offering you a little bit of a, a you know of, go, of good options. You know, so you have FPS combat, like first person shooter combat type stuff. Then you have like space combat with your illegal uh, and then if you want to go like a more industrial role, you could do box missions. So excellent options all around there for sure. Um, Andre says, counting your stream is educational content. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, I, it is educational content. I won't argue with that. I try to make it educational content. Uh, Grave Digger says, I make 10K per month but was out 300 days. Uh, so I was, yeah, you know, that's, I can really appreciate that. You know, um, Grave Digger, what, you're kind of hitting on a very important thing, which is t the time of your life is incredibly important. You know, it's the most invaluable, incalculable <laughs> resource that you have. It's the one, fi it's finite, it's so finite, you know. We, uh, this, this trip on this rock only goes in one direction, you know, so. <laughs> uh, Rushman says, hi, I joined the free play, and a day later I bought the Invictus Aegis Avenger Titan, loving just exploring so far. Rushman, welcome to Star Citizen. That's a round of applause there, sir. Uh, and good choice, too. You made, a, you made a wise decision. I think that that particular ship is well-suited for an introductory role. Young Smooth says, hey, Grib, uh, Grave Digger, that was under your own authority or with the company. That's a great question. There's a lot of freelance truckers out there. D Damon says, boom, seven ping. <laughs> nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, that's, uh, that's, that's solid there. Drax says, uh, driving an OO or a company. Oh, that's, yeah, everybody seems to be interested in that. I was leased onto a company getting 80% of the load. Oh, well, that's a pretty good chunk, too, for sure. All right, so there's a couple of blue caps there. Let's just kind of keep scanning. We'll see what we got. This is not going to be a great rock. That's a 6.7%. Not seeing real high percentages today so far. There's a 2%. We'll keep our foot on the gas, though, nonetheless. This could be a halfway decent rock. We'll have to see a 15%er. No. Did seem a touch. Okay, three more to scan. 5%er, two more to scan. Nope, that guy's not going to do it. What about this last? Nope. Wow, so that driving away from a cluster, uh, never a great thing. Does happen sometimes, though. And off we go. And that's the thing. You, you just gotta, you know, if if you hit a cluster and you know it just doesn't have anything in it, just move on. That's all you can really do. You know, it just it happens for sure. Single rock there. Single rock there. Single rock there. And a single rock there. We'll keep on moving. Andrea says, the Avenger Titan best starter ship, just like the No Man Cutting, depending on budget. Yeah, I, you know, those are also excellent choices. Will Badger says, delivering the three boxes is a good one. I agree with that. Rushman says, one thing I've noticed so far is landing is far easier in SC than in ED. <laughs> Fair enough. Sometimes, sometimes things get a little sideways, a little, 
<laughs> Joe DeMar says, I did the 890 jump boarding mission. I tried to kill a Cutlass Black for 20 minutes and just crashed into it. Yeah, that can happen, Joe, early on, kind of learning the, how to bust ships just right. Young Smooth says, Space, how do you evaluate the rock so uh, fast that you kind of know it's a good idea? So, you know, we'll talk about that the next one I come across, Young. I'll show you I'll show you kind of some of the tells that, that, that allow me to estimate the value of the rock. Uh, Damon Pearson says, damn. Dracona says, nice deal that I thought of going, oh, you know, going with that way as well. Uh, but I'm too lazy. Ten years as a company driver. <laughs> Fair enough. T uh, tanks doubles reefer. Wow, that's pretty amazing, Drac, for sure. Andrea says, delivery missions to avoid. More than one box with a delivery to a city or a space station. I don't disagree with that. The city, the city delivery ones are a touch more tedious than... You know, I like I always like just cruising around Crusade, you know, Crusader be, before or <laughs> someone's there. Hey, there's some, you know, there's a few couple of rocks over that way for sure. We'll go check those out. I think that was at least some doublers. Uh, maybe more. That might be a cl little cluster over there. We'll have to have to look. Um, Greg Leary says, looking for doublers or double cluster on Lyria is cute. So anything more, and Lyria, anything more than one rock, if it's more than one rock together, it's always spontaneous. And so as we approach these, I'll go ahead and pull my mining laser out. Now the first tell, you get, first of all, you have to get into a certain range of the rock for it to be a scannable, for you to be able to get the scan results. Part of the, the, the very first thing you evaluate though is, is like, how, like how thin the green, or how, how thick the optimal or thin the optimal window is. So, you know, like I can tell right there, that's probably not gonna be like, maybe like a seven or eight percent or just based on the optimal. Now I'm not always right. But you know, like it's you get in here, and that's like it's a seven percenter. So, so the tell is the optimal window. When it's a ton of uh, quantanium, it's you know, like the this is going to be like a two percenter for sure. So, yeah, there's a two percenter. When there's a ton of quantanium in it, the the green is pushed about halfway down the charge level line, and uh, there's a lot of red, right? So. Um, that's that's a, that's a big tell for that. So this is a, you know another two percenter or a blue cap as I like to call them. I only got a couple more rocks to scan here as well. So this is not going to be terrible. That's a twenty five percenter at sixty three. Yeah, that's a that's a mineable rock. We'll have to throw a wave shift on there, um, but I have them. So this is a mineable rock right here. This is notice it's a, you know it's got a it's a twenty five percent. So you got two fifty at every thousand. So if you have 250, you know, 25, 5 over 2, so you're going to have 10 over 4, uh, and you're going to have 15 over 6. So this is definitely going to be 30 SCU in here, um, or better. So this is one that we're going to do. Now, the you know, next thing you want to do is kind of evaluate where you want to set down in. I think I want to set down, like, right there. So we'll go ahead and drop our gear. And so the reason I got to set down is because I need to set up this wave shift here. Ooh, I pulled my gear up. Silly. Landing gear up. So I got my gear down. I'm going to drop this guy in the dirt just slowly. I can see a rock right there. And just kind of give yourself a little bit of perspective. I'm going to drop her down in a friendly spot. That'll work right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit my uh, VTOLs and I will kill my engines. And we will just kind of run over there and throw a wave shift on this guy. Just because this is a good size for a wave shift. I certainly couldn't break this rock natively. I think I should be able to break it with a wave shift. Let me just make sure I have one on me. I definitely have some in the vehicles, but I do have one on me as well, which is great. So we'll run out and throw this on there. So this is kind of one of the newer parts of the gameplay loop that I do like. <clears throat> Joe DeMar says, should I get the Prospector or the Freelancer? I agree with Macedon there. If you want to make money, get the Prospector for sure. The Prospector can print money, and it really does open the rest of the game up. The Prospector, Andrea says, you can rent the Freelancer, and you'll soon have enough money to buy a Freelancer with your Prospector. I couldn't agree more. Joe DeMar says, yeah, I seem to lose more money than I make. That happens, Joe. you got to stick with it. Star Citizen's got a high learning curve, but eventually you'll get there for sure. Hang in there for sure. Pyro says, just ran it on the calculator. It's basically exactly 32 SEU. That's exactly right. Thank you, Pyro. Will Badger says, though I will say, I like the new stick on the modules. Uh, yeah, I like the stick on modules as well. Young Sweet says, I did box missions at first, learning to fly, was ranking up 
till I fell through an elevator on New Bab Babbage after barely escaping with my life from a griever, I rage quit and run out a prospector. Yeah, you know, running a prospector is never a bad idea. Will Badger says, ah, uh, you can double up modules. You do know that, right? Yeah, you can stack them. I definitely uh, am familiar with that. I try not to. Um, you know, I, you know yeah, you're dependent on, I mean, you can certainly, uh, you know, have some fun with them for sure, though. All right, so let's kind of put this guy right. I like it. Boom. And we'll look up here and we'll kind of let this guy do its thing and we'll kind of start monkeying around here. Get the field range. Cool. And the propagation. All right. And I go back to axial scatter. 89. What about tweak the field range just a touch? There we go. 90. You know, he's check the propagation to see if we can do a little better i don't know that it matters doing a little better or not i have no idea but i you know that popped that guy on there so that guy's on there now and we'll go jump back in the prospector and and break this rock so um you know and obviously if there's a red light on the ground after we break it we can go down and recover that wave shift as well which is never a bad idea will badger says you can crack some pretty big rocks solo yeah no, you're, you're absolutely right, Will. I don't disagree that you can just kind of stack those and stack them and stack them and break really big rocks. That's That definitely can happen for sure. You know, um, and I, I think uh, when I, I was doing um, some PTU testing, I cracked an 8300 or an 82 and some change or something. I was so proud of that break. I think I had five consumables on it, though, for sure. Greg Digger says, I stack two FLTRXL modules when mining the belt. That's a... You know, I can appreciate that. Sifting out that inert is awesome. Andreas says, stacking gadgets works, but one thing wrong is it all goes boom instantly. Fair enough. Uh, and Young Smooth says, yeah, Drac, wave shifts make the window bigger, lower resistance by 40 cents, and raise the instability. Um, Drac says, don't know if you change your graphics some, or maybe just mine work better now. Hmm, that's a good question. I, I think I'm kind of doing the same thing as I normally do, sir. Um in the most respectful sense. And so we're going to, yeah, we're going to move, kind of move in here and see how we do. Now the resistance is 0.36 uh, and we'll pop the laser on here and see how it, it changes. It's a 0.9. This is a 6300. So this should actually, you know, by my calculations, we should be able to break this rock with, uh, with the resistance down at that level. We'll have to kind of see how it goes. Drax says, uh, the first time I could actually see the numbers as you set that toy. Fair enough, Drag. Maybe, uh, you know, I know that, you know, maybe uh, there was some updates or something that went on that, you know, made it a little more friendly. We should definitely be able to, I mean, it's a 6387. I, I would think the wave shift would be enough. See if it keeps falling out or not, though. Drax says, "Usually, I see a, you slide uh, a slideshow more or less, but you take, take your word for the take my word for the result I got. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I can appreciate that." So we are kind of working this thing. You know, I'm at a good range does seem to be kind of building up there so we'll just kind of cross our fingers and kind of I know there was a balance pass you know kind of on the and I can go down and stick another one on there if we need to I hope I don't have to um, Andrea says I oh, I'm always always how quick some find quant rocks on Lyria I could fly there for hours and find nothing worth mining um, scumbag says hey where are you mining today I'm gonna be on Lyria and I'm gonna be doing some Aaron halo mining I think as well so We'll just kind of see how this this rock breaks, and and um, and we'll go from there. That's where we're at today, Scott. So nice to see you, sir. By the way, Damon says, "Do you ever rotate the laser to plant uh, 
to paint the rock more. Yeah, I do do some, like, you know, some of this kind of stuff where you, you know, some articulating um, from time to time. Uh, especially, uh, I notice, especially if you get a lot of the mining gadgets on there, they, they, they in particular respond to that. But for the most part, I just kind of let it hang on and, and see if it will just kind of build in. Will says, have you ever seen the video of the guy cracking a huge rock with a multi-tool that had so many... There, you know, there, there, there have been a couple of those videos where guys are... Um, where guys are, uh, you know, breaking incredible things with just stacking a bunch of those on there, for sure. Scurvy says, you ever check out Calliope? Uh, M2 moons are supposed to be better for mining now. You know, the one thing about the... about Mining on those moons, though, scurvy, is the fact that the wind conditions, they just push you around so bad. You know, like, it's the weather conditions that turn me off to mining there. Because the wind is so incredibly difficult to deal with. So we're definitely not getting the, the level of break that I was hoping that we would get here. But let me just kind of... It does seem like if it can get that hot, it can go a little hotter... So we'll just kind of see how it goes. If this falls out again completely, then I will maybe go stick a second wave shift on there. And there it did. It just it did. It just fell out completely. Hmm. Well, I'm convinced. still down. We'll kind of back up. We'll get a little bit of a little bit flatter spot there. And I'll stick a, s sneak a second one on there and see if that helps at all. Alright. We'll just kind of set her down easy. We'll kill the engines. Andrea says the empty moons are very windy. For sure, yes. Ar Arcadius, how are you today, man? Nice to see you. Welcome to the channel. Arcadius says, yo, yo, yo. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Fair enough. That's awesome. All right, we'll equip one more of these guys. Let's make sure it got on the old back ski. Yep. All right, two wave shifts. We'll have to... S I don't have a Bormax with me today, so... Normally I would. We're on Lyria for sure. Andreas says, alrighty, I have to move to the office for an hour. See you later. Maybe see you, Andreas. Take care, sir. Well, Badger says, also, there are weaker spots in the rock. By waving around, you're just going across it. I normally do wander, wander around till I find it. Yeah, there are definitely spots on the rock that, that tend to, to act a little better, for sure. I don't disagree with that. All right, we'll tune this one up as well. And take a look. All right, got a 68 going there. Change the scatter a bit. That'd be 75. Right there we go, boom. All right, so we stuck a second wave shift down there. Got a couple of them. Hopefully that's gonna bring the resistance down to like a 0 0.2 and we'll be able to get this done. We are definitely on Lyria right now, just doing a little bit of Quantanium mining. Young Smooth says, financial, that wouldn't be practical, though. Uh, 12 wages or something. Yeah, you know, that's the one thing I will say, is I have uh, now 42,000 worth of wave shifts on this, you know, on this rock. So you've already, you know, you know there is 32 SCU, um, you know, but, but you know, they're unrecoverable. You know, it's just, it's something you have to take into your calculus. Now, I like doing it. I think it's actually fun. So that, that actually plays into the calculus as, as well for me. You know, um, I, I think it's, I think it's a, it's a good thing to learn for sure. So, I mean, you're, it's still an incredibly profitable situation. So I'm assuming the, yep. So we got the resistance down to 0.5. We'll just kind of see how it goes now.
Instability's in pretty good shape as well. And so we are mining this big old 6300 here. And so hopefully we can... Uh, You can recover them sometimes, I mean, for the most part, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes the rock rolls on them. You know, like, um, I have definitely been not been able to recover them a, a couple of times. Will says, I haven't lost one yet. That's a, that, that makes me, uh, you know, that actually gives me hope for sure. I always get them back. I guess I'm lucky. I never put more on, more than two on, though. You know, I, I had I had a Bormax, I definitely would have just started with a Bormax, I think, on this. But I had wave shifts on me. Um, it, we seem to be building energy into this guy, though. I think we'll, we'll, I think if we just kind of stick to it here, we should get there. Drag says sometimes you can pick them up, sometimes they get squished. Yeah, that's exactly that. That's been my, you know, that's the way it's worked for me, anyways. <laughs> Definitely being a little finicky. But I think if we can get up here, I think if we just kind of stick to it, we'll get there. Arcadia says, I'm good, man. Thanks. Hope you're good, too. I'm doing awesome, Arcadius. I'm not at work today, so I'm able to stream at the, kind of at a, at, a, at a fun hour. Definitely a little earlier than I normally stream, and that's really making me happy. Um, not going through emails today makes me happy. And sometimes I can, yeah, that, that one time uh, I went to recover one and the rock rolled and almost got me. I remember that track. That was really funny. Youngspin says, I have not recovered many, but sometimes they fall through the ground and our uh, rocks cover them. I usually lose the bore max and the severe. The wave shifts, I have better luck recovery. That's been my experience too, actually, Young Smooth. That's weird. I have had better luck recovering the wave shifts more than any other one. Um, uh, Damon Pearson says, do a figure eight. But oh, man... I don't want to mess it up. It's getting so close, Damon. We're almost there. Will Badger says, once cracked, have you ever blown up other section of the rock trying to get rid of the one you want? Yep, done, I've done that before, Will. Also, when we have our organization nights, we have prospector breaking teams, and they'll actually extract trash and then pick up like just one unit of quantanium like click click on the quantanium and then let it get to uh to um first alarm and then just jettison so that's been a game changer that you you know between the two prospectors you can clear away 64 scu of trash you know and then just like i said click click on a quantanium rock you know get just get any unit amount in there let it get to uh first alarm and let them jettison it that was a massive game changer when we figured that out all credit goes to Spectre 11 for that one in our organization. Will Badger says, maybe I get them back all the time because I tend to use the wave shifts. That very well could be why you've had a better success. Well, I mean, I've tended to find that the wave shifts, I can have an easier time recovering for sure. It's trying, you guys. It's fighting. She broke into the optimal window, which is great. 
and I'll keep a good eye on it. I don't want it to get into the overcharge, but I don't want it feather back too much when it's here as well. Rather than back just a touch. Looks like we're going to get the break here. Alright, cool. Now let's see if we see the red. That's probably not good. I can see one down there a little bit. Well, let's see if we can get over there and just get it back. I'm just kind of curious. It looks like it might have rotated in underground. Um, well, heck, you know, you know, you got to try. So, right. So, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Can I have the gear down. I didn't have the gear down. Awesome. We'll go out there and take a look, and uh, and, and try not to get crushed. <laughs> you never do know. It's a nice break there for sure. It, you know, it does kind of make you happy that they they added this little gadget in there that, you know, a sixty four hundred. You used to definitely not be able to crack that, and now you, now you can get a little lucky. All right, let's see here. Hey, let's grab that guy. Is store an option? I think it is. Awesome. Now there was one more I was hoping to be able to get. I mean, recovering one of them is great. Definitely don't see a light for the other one. And recovering one out of the two is not bad, though. I mean, I'm 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 a, I'm happy to do that. I don't see in any other spot it might have fallen. This is amazing when you get in here between these these crap. It's pretty crazy. How the scale of it is amazing to me. Yes. All right, we'll go ahead. We, we recovered one of them, and I'm happy about that. I mean, it's better than better than losing both of them. So quite a bit of quantanium here to kind of get, hopefully, this broke clean. We'll figure that out real quick. Fire up the engines here. All right, so let's get a little bit of altitude and let's see what we got. Definitely not going to be anything in this one. And what about this guy over here? Nothing in that one too. That's a good sign, right? So this looks like it actually broke pretty clean. That's an 81 percenter. This is going to be nothing here, so it's going to be that one down there as well then, right? It is. So it looks like most of it broke into the two rocks. That is 8 or so, and that is an 83 or so as well. So I didn't know there's a third one down there as well. Let's, uh, let's click on that. Let's look at that guy. That's going to be nothing. So nothing, nothing, nothing. It all wound up in these two rocks. So we can make that work for sure. All right, up we go. And we'll just kind of start. All right, that's what we wanted. Get this guy broke, we'll get the other guy broke as well, and then we'll start scooping. Young Spoo says Fleet Week has been a godsend for transporting your refinery jobs. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, all those rentals you can get the big ships, <laughs> they, they definitely help with that. 
Damon says they definitely made it so you can get in there and uh, get the scale. Yeah, the, the scales are pretty amazing, Damon, for sure. Like, crazy amazing. Uh, Young Smooth says, I got a free Carrick to put all my refinery loads in. Yeah, the Carrick. What a fun thing to, to get up. To, to get to fly around a little bit, you know? I mean, that's it, it's really a beautiful thing to be able to kind of, you know, just kind of try it before you buy it. I love that. That's the one thing that's really fantastic about these sales, uh, for sure, is the whole being able to rent whatever ship, you know, and, and, and evaluate it a little bit. I think that's always a great thing to be able to do. So we got about 15 more seconds left on the brand that's going to get us through... A lot of it here, but not quite all of it. Ten seconds. The brand's going to fall off at the very tail end of this, so we'll have to kind of be careful. Two, one, there's the brand falling off. Boom. We don't want to fall out. And we... All right, we're able to kind of... Let's go ahead and just begin extracting. We know that there's going to be some in here that, depending on how this broke... There's a hundo to start with. We'll take it. Definitely an awesome, you know, very nice beginning. Here's another good sized rock. What's in this one? Another hundo. All right. So, you know, some, some clean rocks to begin with here. What do we got here? Another beautiful hundo. I like it. All right, that was a pretty low percentage there. We'll just kind of skip that guy for now. There's another hundo. We'll kind of grab him. So, so far we're crossing 15 SCU, which is really good. What's this guy over here? That's 75 percenter we'll have to do. Um, you know, that's going to be one that we're, you know, definitely going to have to scoop up. And that is now getting us closer to 20 SCU, which is great. There's a hundo. Greg Jerry says, hoping to snag a Herc on Crusader Day. Yeah, that's a good ship right there for sure. Next week says, yeah, the refiner hangers are kind of tight. <laughs> they are. Got to butter the sides of the M2. But this rock didn't have any in it, I don't interesting. We wound up with 24 SCU. Calculated a little more than that in this rock, but you know what? It is what it is. There's nothing in... So there was 3% in this one, so we might as well at least pull that in. You know, there's just a, a few a few units. We'll, we'll help. And uh, you know what? We you know 24 SCU is not a bad run. I mean, it's not... Not as good as we normally do, but you know what? Um, it's certainly nothing to sneeze at. That's a very respectable run. We'll go ahead and pull the laser out. We'll kind of get some altitude, spool up the quantum drive, and off we'll go. Beautiful. We're spooling now. Pyro says, I've actually been thinking of snagging the 890 jump as well. Although I can't see myself ever using it over the brain. <laughs> yeah, you know. Arcadia says, nice. Thank you, Arcadius. It's awesome. Yeah, I, I have the Hercules M2, and I just love that ship. I mean, it's a great ship. It's a wonderful platform. I mean, it's just, it hauls things. It's... You know, it's great. It's 550 SCU, 500, you know, I mean, it's it's a very respectable ship. Um, I like the fact that it's a touch up armored. Of course, the A2 is another one that's, it's bristle, like the A2 is just a crazy gunship with all those, those big uh, turrets on it. 
um, and the ability to kind of drop bombs as well. So that whole series, the, the way they fly in atmosphere is amazing. You know, the, the Crusaders, they really have been really, they have changed Stanton for sure, those ships, the way things work. Being able to haul those tanks is a, is a pretty amazing thing, you know, quite honestly. All right, so our first 24 of the day, we got, we, you know, we, we're bringing in, and uh, and we're going to throw this in the hopper, and we're going to head right back out again. I think we're going to, next time we'll head over to the Aaron Halo. Gravedigger says, I'm saving for an A2. A grave, I can really, that thing is a, it is got just a ton of firepower. I mean, it's it's a great ship. Damon says, I, ha I haven't been, uh, but have you been pirated? People tell me that. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I've definitely been stopped one time and and uh, and pirated, and it does happen. And, and I don't actually do a lot of my cargo runs, for instance, on stream, just for that reason, as you can imagine. You know, advertising, hey, and especially as physicalized inventory becomes more of a thing. You know, it's you know you certainly could require more escorts. I mean, once once you know inventory is physicalized, it's really going to be a situation where when people do knock down your cargo ship, they're going to be able to take your cargo. Like literally, it's not going to be just kind of like magically stuck to the you know uh, in your ship. I mean, it's you know so I think that those 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 uh, kind of mosquito nets, if you will. Are going to be a lot more prevalent after 3.18 goes live for sure. Uh, Young Smooth says, "What's your preferred transport ship's uh, space? Something with enough cargo space and firepower." To yes, the, I like the Constellation Taurus right now. I think that's the right balance of firepower and SCU that works for me. Uh, 174 SCU, but it does have you know two size five, two size four guns, an XL1 you know quantum drive on it, which is an, you know a nice drive as well as a, a good complement of missiles as well. So I think the Constellation Taurus is, it's it definitely, I love the Freelancer Max. I think it's a great cargo ship, but it definitely does, like much like the Argo Mole or like the Hull A, uh, you know, the Freelancer Max does say, I'm a cargo ship, you know, and so the, um, the Taurus is a little more of a gunship. That's why I like it. Uh, Young Smooth says, uh, or Will Badger says, LOL, I'm a pirate at heart. I've been playing nice. <laughs> uh, I can appreciate that. There definitely are some folks that, that enjoy pirating, and uh, there's a lot of respectable time and energy that can go into it if you want to do a good job with it. Um, Crystal, how are you, Crystal? Connie Taurus is my go-to for cargo. I love the Taurus. I agree with that 100%. Uh, Damon Pierce says, I have a Hall A. You can't see it. Uh, it might be a target. Yeah, I mean... You know, if I'm a pirate, I'm definitely thinking about, the, uh, you know, like a Freelancer or an Argo Mole, um, you know, Freelancer Max or an Argo Mole or, a, you know, something like that. A little different than I'm going to handle, say, a Connie Taurus or even like an MSR. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong. You know, that's still a three to one situation, 96 SCU uh, or an Andromeda. Those would be also, you know, really, really strong ships. But... The Connie's that balance of that 174 SCU, just enough Quantanium where you're, it's a hell of a nice run. Uh, you know, not so much that if you lose it, you're going to cry. Um, and, and, you know, Connie Taurus has got teeth. It definitely has some teeth. It's not, uh, it's not super, uh, you know, super weak. You can, you can punch, try and, you know, get, buy yourself a little time. You can fight. You know, there's, you know, it's not, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing at all. What the heck? Why is my UI so tilted, you guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's weird. Um, fair enough. I, hey, good, hey, Ninja, good morning. How are you? Yeah, look, look at my UI, you guys. It's gotten really funny, I, I think. Uh, hello. Oh, now it's straightened out. Normally I shut off. Let me, go, let me get back in my seat here. And I haven't heard first alarm yet, you guys. Uh... But I would like to turn off the engines and do a post. Alright, there we go. That straightened it out. I'm not sure what happened there. That was so funny. Uh, but we're unable to uh, to get kind of that stuff together anyways. But we at least could turn off the engine, so. Hey, Sambone, good morning. Back at it, I see. I am, Ace. I'm off this week, and so, heck yeah. Of course, Ninja has got, got the uh, kapow going for sure. There's first alarm right there. 
just kind of in, you know, in, in gives you an idea how much extra time you have. Grady Digger says, LOL, I'm in an org that specializes as a defense contractor available to hire for, to anyone wanting security and escorts. I can appreciate that, Grave, for sure. Will Badger says, see right now, I see no reason why people are going after others uh, to try to do tar- cargo hauling and the, the aggressor. You can't take anything. Um, yeah, so you, you're really kind of like you're right, Will. I mean, you're really kind of left with extortion, like we're not going to let you go. Um, and some people are, you know, less inclined to, you know, the, you know, it's a lot more painful to sit there and watch somebody, um, you know, you know, while you know, stand there while you, they got guns pointed at you, uh, moving your um, cargo box by box over into their ship. So <clears throat> that's going to be an interesting. I I do think <clears throat> the age of piracy really will begin with 3.18 and, and the physicalized cargo, for sure. Uh, Jack says, might be interesting to walk away from your ship, uh, to fly it off. <laughs> yeah, I, my, my, uh, Cutlass Black has flown off, uh, without me before, Welcome for sure. Um, Crystal says, system. first run of the day, a 31 SU Quant. Hopefully that's a good sign. Yeah, that looks, sounds like a good sign for sure. All right. Prospector is, Prospector 2 is claim. Oh, boy. Well, we'll go. What the heck? Where did it go? Uh, that's ridiculous. I, I I didn't blow it up. I landed and it was nice. <laughs> no. That's crazy. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. I didn't land it hard on the that time on the pad. Yeah, Arca, well, it's, it's 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 in claim for whatever reason. And I don't see it anywhere. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna go up to like pad two and see if I see it. Sometimes you do. <laughs> what the heck? That's so funny. I had this happen the other day, but I kind of had set it down hard on the pad, so I figured it was that. Damon says, okay guys, love you all. Mining life listen to <laughs> 1230. Thank you for Damon for joining. I appreciate it. And that's awesome, and I'm glad you decided to hang out for sure. So let me go ahead and see if I get out here, if I can see. Look at, there's the ladder, says 26 million away. There it is, you guys. It wouldn't even show up. See, I'm going to go ahead and, and it's going to be in probably at least, I mean, we, you know, who knows what alarm state. I'll just go land it on a different pad. This is one of the things I've noticed before, yeah. I can hear the, the buzzer. So we'll just go set it over here on this pad. And just make him pull it in. That's I have no problem with that. I thought I landed in the right place, but maybe I didn't. I wonder if I can uh, get my post flight in now. Anyways. Oh, no, they're not letting that happen. Thank you. And please visit again. <clears throat> hey, Sambone says only shorts can destroy a ship without being near a ship. I know. What the heck, man? <laughs> That's so funny, Ace. I don't know how that happens. So, you know, <clears throat> obviously you can see one of the things, you know, notice I didn't just immediately, even though I couldn't see the icon and it said the ladder was a long ways away, I still went back up and checked for the ship. Because I, this has happened to me before, like, just like this. Now, you know, they say, they say they're impounding me and I hope that they are. Thank you for your cooperation. See, and so that's just how you handle it, just like that, right? I mean, it's not, um, you know, my preference, of course, is to, is to, to do everything correct, but, you know. Whatever I have to do to get it stored to save my Quantanium, that's uh, that's the most important thing, right? So, not my first rodeo on that situation, and definitely an opportunity and a good lesson, you know, for everybody. You know, you land your ship, you come in, it's claim, you're like, hey, I just climbed out of the thing, I looked around, there was no icon, the ladder looked like it was, like, forever away. I still took that ride up to, to, to the pad I landed on. Um, and I still looked and double-checked, and the prospector was there. I, you know, just said, heck with it. 
just landed on a different pad and in it went. So, you know, uh, just one of the uh, things that you kind of know about if you have done enough Quantanium mining. Arc Arcadia says, just wondering uh, when they steal my Quantanium is going to blow up because of its stability. Yeah, that is funny. Um, it is. A, it's an excellent question for sure. I mean, um, doing those runs. <clears throat> It is, 318, you know, and of course they've talked about this extended PTU and that type of thing, which is great. I mean, take your time. Get that, get the cargo refactor right. That is really going to be a, you know, I mean, we're really headed for some exciting, time, exciting times. Once physical, cargo's physicalized, once we get a little more autonomous rearm and refuel and repair, and once pyro's open, ooh boy, are we going to have a game on our hands. I mean, those those things in particular. Now, you know, there's some other technical stuff too, server meshing and those types of things Hi, would be important. Feel free to take a look around. We so we definitely a have a little bit in the prospector here. We'll go ahead and set up our work order. And we'll just do a Dynix. And we will get the quote and confirm that guy, and boom. And we got a lot of them cooking now too as well. So we've got quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of quantanium cooking, but we'll uh, we'll take that first run. That was a solid first run for sure. Now I'm going to come down here, and I always do recommend this when you're on your refine. You know, just go ahead and run in here and get yourself a drink in a hey, back again, I in see. an energy well, bar. See anything you like? Will Benjamin says it's best when that happens and you didn't pay attention to what. Pay well, I had, to, I'll promise you, I guessed it was on pad two. I didn't, I didn't know. I couldn't see and I couldn't, I didn't actually take that close of a look at it. So that's just kind of, that's where experience kind of comes in handy. I've been to Arc L1 so many times, you know, it's a lot of times it's pad two stuff, right? So. See anything you like? I don't think I ended up eating that one. Hold on. Cool. Awesome. All right, so we're looking good there. I'll put this helmet back on, and we'll head out to the Aaron Halo. Ace Hambone says, uh, oh, yeah, Will Badger says, hoping for Pyro Lawless System. I'm hoping for Pyro's really when the game, like, you know, you know, it's really going to open up this whole other, like, bunch of stuff, right? It's, it's, ama it's amazing what Pyro will do. And, of course, um, you know, sh there's the cargo refactor is, it really cannot be underestimated how massive of a change that's going to be for sure. Very nice. So good run, good first run there. We are now going to head out to the Aaron Halo and we'll uh we'll hit that place. Um you know, certainly certainly liked uh the new-ish scanning me mechanic out that way as well. I had very good luck there yesterday. And, uh, you know, hoping to have some more. Um, Lyria was not a bad run. You know, it ended up being, a, you know, a decent run. Um, anytime you get over 20 SEU, you know, it's you know somewhere between 160 and 200,000. So you can't complain about that run at all. Now I will um, go ahead and do a little pre-flight here. We'll take a look at Prospector 2. Here it comes. Oh yeah, I've got to. Uh, I got to pay my fine. That's eh, fine. Welcome <laughs> to the ASOC vehicle system. It's fine to pay your system. fine. All right, paying fine. That vehicle, vehicle has been impounded. Impounded. All right, well then, just double check the, that I'm, I've got the right one going here. Prospector two. Yep, that's that's this guy, and I did I do need a new brand. I kind of figured that. This is one of the reasons why you always want to do your pre-flight stuff. Make sure you have the equipment on board that you want to have. Welcome now we'll pull Prospector Two and head out to the Halo. Retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Juan Carlos, they see the screens are off. Yeah, they're off for everybody, Juan Carlos. That's for sure. They are off for everybody.
Will Badger says that's going to bring a lot of people back into this game. There are a lot of people that see piracy as the only way. A lot of streamers see that as the best form of content. You're right about that, Will. I've, I've seen where a lot of people do like that type of you know content, for sure. Uh, people tend to love watching other people lose. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's reasonable. Uh, and especially if, you know, the one thing is, is if you're being pirated, you know, and if they're being reasonable to you, you know, honestly, if somebody's pirating you and they're like, hey, um, you know, well, I see that you have, you know, 600,000 of Quantanium on board, you know, pay us 75,000 and you be on your way, you know, I suggest you pay the 75,000, I mean, and be on your way. I mean, it seems to be, you know, you'd hate to think that you're, that you're going to be willing to lose hours and hours of work. Now, that being said, you know, there, there are limits, right? And I mean, you know, at some point you probably need to hire security and, and, and work through that stuff. So it's just going to change the game. I mean, that's just the, the bottom line. Young, Young Smooth says, true story. Yep. Ace Hamilton says, yeah, Young Smooth. Uh, I think I would uh, just be best a pirate in Stanton and retreat into Pyro. Fair enough. You know, and that's it's a big system re to retreat into, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. no, Oops, we're not heading there. We're actually heading here. We'll drop out at 7.8. Up we go. Raise the gear. Okay, we're going to touch more gas. Pivot around and we'll line up here for our departure. Thank you. And please visit again. Off we go. We'll drop out at 7.8 and we'll just kind of look around and see how we do. So yeah, I mean, obviously Pyro's going to be just, oh, just the next level, right? I mean... The one thing I do wonder, right, they're going to have these this gate that goes to Pyro. That really does seem like it's going to be an awful big, um, you know, kind of a funnel, right? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that ends up. You know, are there going to be services right there on the outside of the, the thing? I mean, kind of like a last rest stop style play. It's really going to be interesting, you know, are people going to be... Kind of bouncing back and forth constantly between the two. Does that damage your ship? You know, it's there's a lot of stuff, you know, makes you wonder. Crystal says, if they can take the cargo, they aren't going to offer a deal. They're going to take it out. That's true. I mean, I think we have extortion deals now because they can actually take it. Um, you're probably absolutely right, Crystal. You're, you know, um, all I was saying, you know, if people are willing to negotiate, like they're just, hey, Pay us seventy-five thousand, and we're not going to waste your time. You don't, you know, you know, uh, you know. I mean, take the deal. I mean, you know, just just consider it a little overhead, and next time, you know, pay some security to come with you. Uh, Young Smooth says, "I see bounty hunters setting around pyro jump points." Yeah, that's for sure. All right, so we're going to hit seven point eight here. Here we go. Two, seven, nine, seven, eight. All right looking good that's and you know we, we talked about this yesterday you don't want the thickest part of the um of the halo for what we're doing here today and so here we're gonna yeah i got that up we're gonna turn this we're gonna actually not we're gonna use this guy here we're gonna do a one and and take a look there that's an M-type cluster, a little bit different meta here, you know, with the, you can actually, when you hit these pings, it'll tell you what type of cluster it is. If it doesn't give you any feedback after a couple pings, then it's probably an unscannable rock. That's been my experience with it so far. That's a P-type as well. That's an M-type. So we're looking for Q-types, as you can imagine, and we'll keep on moving. Will Badger says, from what I have seen, Pyro will not have repair or locations for refueling. You'll have to be dependent on the bring that in. That does look like that for sure. Uh, Pyro says, Pyro seems like it might encourage more team play for orgs. I ag agree with that 100%. I know that we're starting ourselves to kind of plan for fleet movement type operations. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we have to get good at that stuff and... I think that one is the one from before. Yeah, that's an M type. And now we have one out at 12. You need to get down to about 12.2, right, before you can actually hit it. 
and get and get a result. Now there's an M type there, so we're closing it. This one's out here at 11.3. We'll get him. That's a P type, and then at 12, 11.9, that is an E type. So we haven't seen any Q types yet. We're just going to keep on moving. We'll set it back to to 180 and keep on the trucking. Pyro says, I also like how YouTube highlights every pyro in red since the name is pyro. Yeah, that's fair enough. Will Badger says, uh, exactly. That's why it's not worth it right now. Most will not pay. So what do you get? You blow them up and get nothing. Yeah, you know, I, that, that is really, it is going to change. I mean, it's going to change significantly. Now that's a cluster, but I'm not getting any scan results. So that's going to be an unscannable cluster, more than likely. Kind of gave them some extras and didn't really get anything either. So, all right, let's see here. We got something out here at nine. That's an E type. Oh, there's a Q type right there. All right, so we'll kind of head in on this Q type. We'll roll it back to the to the ninety, you know, to the ninety to keep it out in front of us. But yeah, that's a Q type right there, and I think it. We'll have to see. I think it's just one rock. Looks like just a single. Well, let's take a look at it. Definitely not a great rock. I mean, obviously with that big green wedge, that's just a blue cap. So we'll just kind of keep moving. That's an M type. That's an E-type. Look at I was kind of I was able to scan right over the edge of that thing. It's kind of cool. All right, so you know we keep Arc L1 at our you know kind of our uh, main marker position there, and we'll just kind of scroll back to 180 and keep moving. So yeah, Pyro, you guys. I mean that's going to be something special. That's going to be when that when that happens. It's going to be lights out fun. Holy mackerel! Or gameplay for days. So not getting any scan markers back there. Definitely, you know, give it a couple pulses. But if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't chat at you, then there's a good chance it's not what you think it's going to be. And no reason not to just kind of keep heading towards arc. You know, keep, uh, you know, uh, set it at 180. Just keep on a trucking. And um, and this is, you know, we were had really good success with this. So. You know, it's things that, that are out there, like this distance, you know, once you kind of get in at 12.2. Not getting a scan on that guy. That's an E-type. 12.2 there. There's a Q-type and a couple of them, so that's excellent. We'll head towards this Q-type. Will Badger says, you are correct, Young, but as long as you work in your factions, uh, it's the people that come in from Stanton are connected to. Tina says, ahoy there. How are you? Major congrats on 1K. Thank you, Tina. That's very kind of you for sure. I was excited to hit 1K last night. It was uh, a, a good stream last night. We did really well in the air and halo. And, and yeah, we did. We finally did cross that, that thousand threshold, which is really nice. I mean, it's just great. So we're going to go ahead and check these couple of Q types out and see how we do today. This first one's hard to say. I don't think it's going to be great. Yep, 8%er. What about this guy? Not great either. So that's a 2%er as well. So we'll kind of do what we do is just kind of put our L1 back in there and roll back to 180 and and keep moving. Thank you, Tina. That is awesome. Love it. And you know, and obviously, you know, I've said it a million times. I mean, the the mining stream is about you guys. I mean, you guys are really the ones. That's an E-type over there that that make the stream. I mean, it's it really is a fantastic. 
uh, to be able to talk with all of you. And there's a, some a Q type right there. It looks like a single rock. We'll head towards it. Go back to 90 and just kind of keep it out in front of us. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. Is there, is there two there? Now this looks like a, you know, potentially could be a halfway decent rock. We'll have to see. It's a 51.22. A lot of red there, so it may only be like a small percentage one, but we'll check it out for sure. Ah, beautiful rock there. So I don't think, uh, yep, now this is not going to be as nice, right? But this one here is a beaut. This is a 5146, so we're going to mine the heck out of this and, and be happy that we can. So this is an excellent rock, um, and this is kind of what's been going on in the Halo, man. You've been, I've been finding some real nice rocks out here. So we'll go ahead and just kind of get started on that guy without further ado, and, and awesome. Will Badger says, uh, have a good day off, shorts. Everybody else, have a great day as well. Will... Thank you for coming and contributing. I love the fact that you come and chat, and uh, I really appreciate you coming. Uh, I hope that you have a lovely day too, sir. Hope that you uh, find every Quantanium rock that I don't. <laughs> so, um, you know, take care of yourself for sure, Will. Appreciate it. Looks like Will has to head to work today, and I understand how that goes for sure. Normally on Monday mornings, I am not streaming on, on Star Citizen. And, and I, you know, I, I do like to mix up the times because there are people that, that jump on and say, oh, I was never able to catch one of your streams. Like I, I, I did one late at night at one time and some people said that to me. And it's, you know, it's definitely uh, something where I, you know, I am going to try and sneak on at different times. Ace Hambone says that rock is more than I can carry. It does have a lot more than I can carry for sure. Now, we hope that it breaks clean, and they usually do um, when they're this bigger percentage. But, you know, there's no guarantee. Sometimes you can have five rocks that you got to crack every one of them. What we're hoping is that it's in, it concentr concentrated in two or three rocks. A couple of hondos and, and some leftover change would be ideal. And, um, you know, a very, very high percentage of quantanium in this rock for sure. Probably closer to 45, between 45 and 50 SCU, maybe even better than that. I could grab Quant Calc and we could punch it in. I mean, it's not not going that fast. Let me do that real quick. Let me just reset Quant Calc from yesterday. And let's put that in. It's a 5122. And that is a 46.3%. I'll calculate that guy out. Quant Calc tells me that is exactly uh, 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 47 SCU. So yeah, between 45 and 50. And this is a you know this is the type of rock where if you have a solo, of course you can't. The solo moles are not working right now, you know. But if you had a solo mole, you could get you know 10, you know another another 10, you know uh, quite a bit more SCU out of this, right? I mean. Um, if it's 47 in here, you'd get it all. And so you'd get, uh, you know, another 15 SCU, you know, again. So, you know, very, you know, something to think about. I I know I myself just like Prospectors. You know, Prospectors is my favorite ship in the game, so I just prospect their mine all the time. Um, but don't give me, I, when you have a mole with a bunch of people on it, it's, it's great. So my laser will... Oh, it's right in the description, Young. It's a dollar. It's a. It's an app that's we have. We're you know I'm supposed to do some work so we can get it out on iOS. Um, it, that work is not not the technical part of it. It's to kind of get the steps together. But it's it is on the Google Play Store. It's a one dollar app, and you can quickly bring in the mass and the percentage of the rock, and it will tell you how much is in it. And then if you add more and more rocks, like if you find four or five of them together, it'll tell you the whole thing, the the, the amount total amount for the cluster. Um, and there's a you can set a trip ID as well, where if somebody else is quant calc, you can give them the number and they can see the rocks you have. So it's really kind of interesting. I think it's a good tool. It's a simple tool. We want it to be super easy use. 
But yeah, the link's in the description, for sure. And thanks for asking. It's, you know, we only charge a dollar for it. It kind of goes towards Discord and to offset the, the cost of the website and that kind of thing. Alrighty. So let's hope for good breaks here. That's a good break right there. That's 18 SCU in one, in one chunk. That's 94 SCU in that. So a lot of this down here, it's not going to have a ton in it. This one's going to have some in it for sure. Yep, there's a hundo. This won't have any. So there's 14 SCU in that one. And there is 18 SCU in that one. So... Yep, I mean that's we've you know we, we're definitely gonna get a you know get a uni out of this. We'll go ahead and break down these rocks for sure. Kind of laggy spike for a second. I thought I would deal with that. We're gonna get it for iOS though. I promise you guys, it's something that uh. You know, I, I definitely need need to do a little bit of work to get an iOS. Look at that, it's really being kind of quite uh quite slow to respond when I'm you know I'm rolling the thing back. And it's it's not doing it fast. There we go. There we are, kind of getting that break done. Warning, power critical. All right, got that break done. We'll kind of let's get these other couple out of the way. lose that brand. It definitely there's a touch of lag for sure. No big deal though. We'll try and break uh get both these rocks. Titan, how are you sir? Nice to see you. How you been? Titan says I'm not sure how complex the app is, but coding is swift. And a good experience for me. Thank you, Titan. Leah says hi. Have I reached 1K sub yet? I did last night. I did. KSS, hey, how are you, man? Nice to see you, sir. I did. I hit 1K subs last night, you guys. And it was super exciting. I was like, loved it. it's taking to break these. Like, I don't know if the lag is kind of a contributing factor to that. Normally, I would be able to push, push, push through and get two, two brain, two, one brain consumable for two breaks, but it's definitely not kind of the thing right now. Warning. Power critical. Warning. Power critical. about 15 or so seconds left on that. We'll have to kind of hang in there. Mad Titan says, congrats. Thank you, Titan. I appreciate that, sir. Doe said, tried mining the hail yesterday. Still don't get the ping angle. 
Um, you know, we'll, we'll look at it again. I'll, I'll come back out and kind of, show, you know, demonstrate it again after we do this run. This is going to be a nice full 32 SCU run. All right, so let's go ahead and begin scooping. We know down here this is all... This was all hundos down here. KSS says, oh, good, man. Congrats on 1K. Can I ask, does this new scanning meta work with the normal non-mining scanner? Um, so... If you're talking about surface mining, yes. Um, if you're talking about, you know, you in the air and halo, um, no. I mean, you have to have a mining laser for kind of the thing to work in the air and halo that that that, that I, I demonstrated kind of yesterday on the stream and today. So you know, the prospector is really kind of a requirement for the air and halo thing. Um, now, you could use the mole, but you'd have to have somebody down there in the laser as well, which is not always convenient. So we'll talk about the ping angle thing. I'll, I'll come back, uh, Doe, I'll come back out after this run, you know, and we will talk about ping angle for sure and, uh, and demonstrate it a, l a little more. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to for sure. Now, all these close ones should definitely be hundos, but we'll just kind of let, let the laser draw on them. Definitely have a uni coming in here for sure, which is a great uh, feeling. Look at that. It reset the quantanium, guys. It went down to 2.42, so now I'll just kind of get what I get out of it. It happens sometimes, and... Like it reset it, so I'll, I'm still gonna end up with a halfway decent amount, but I'm not gonna have a full. You know, it, it, if you can see, it actually bumped it down to like eight when I was up high. So yeah, I did have a uni going, but it took it away. So my quantanium reset. I've seen this happen before, and it's not in there. I won't get there, and it'll have 32 SCU. It'll just have whatever I have left to scoop. So. You know, fortunately, there was, uh, a, you know, as much available here as, as there was. So, it happens, you guys. It's just one of those things. And I've learned to just kind of, you know, just do what you can. We're still going to end up with over 20 SCU. But it's just one of those things. It's just, you know, there's really not a ton you can do about it. So that uni, I mean, we ended up scooping all of it, and we're going to end up with a little over 20 SCU. So uh, still a uni in my book, uh, but, you know, like, uh, nonetheless, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get our hands on. Now, this is nice. This was an extra 5 SCU, kind of a consolation prize down there. So we ended up with 27 SCU. Um, and and, and that, like I said, I've seen that happen. Don't panic. It you know, it's just, it is kind of what it is. It's not great, <laughs> you know. But it does happen from time to time. So, we'll just kind of spool up, head that direction a little bit, and head back into arc. And that's a nice run, 27 SCU. Team Defeaters, this got a little bored mining, so went to do deliveries. LOL, got maxed out to the point where I can do, uh, get to bunkers for a 45... K base pay. Nom, nom, nom. That's a nice base pay for a mission. Hey, Sambone says, I've seen that bug happen a lot and multiple times with you. It does happen. You know, Ace for sure. Um, that's the second time, I think, in as, in, a, in as many weeks that I had it happen. I had another one. Kind of a similar situation where I, I think I still ended up with a, with a pretty good amount, but it was it was one of those overages. Uh, Leah says, alpha version feature. Yeah, it is. It is. That's an alpha version feature for sure. <laughs> So we will go, mm, coffee's delicious this morning. We will go turn this in. And, uh, yeah. Head back out one more time so we can demonstrate for, do at, at least one more time. I mean, maybe, maybe more. I mean, I'm in, I'm in no hurry today. And, uh, and for sure kind of show uh, dough, kind of the, the whole kind of, you know, we'll talk through the uh, Aaron Halo scanning stuff again. 
and see if we can't help Doe out a little bit. Headed back to Arc L1. We're going to drop this stuff off at the hopper. Ace Hambone says, well, off to work I'd go. Good to see you this morning. Ace, thank you for joining this morning. I don't normally get to stream at this hour, so I was glad to, to have that opportunity. And I was super ha happy to have you aboard, Ace. Have a lovely day. Salute to you, sir. And, uh, you know, we'll see you around the way. Young Smooth says, that was a uni. You have a witness. Fair enough, Young. I, I appreciate that. I know a couple of the stream uh, veterans would, uh, you know, would... Uh, they wouldn't, you know, wouldn't allow that one, um, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I, I, you know, I know it was a, you know, I know it was a uni and, you know, it was, it was a nice rock, good break. And I'm, I'm happy to be, you know, sometimes that happens and you're stuck with seven or eight or 10, or 10 SCU, you know? And so I was, you know, I got lucky that, you know, there still was enough overage to get back to a decent number. So, you know, you got to count your blessings. You know, take the good with the bad a little bit with that, and, and that's just kind of the way it goes. So we'll kind of work our way in here. We haven't heard first alarm yet. We'll just boogie on in and put this guy down on the pad. And All right, we're approaching Arc L1 now. couple of ships over there. Yeah, quite a few ships over there, to be honest. Be interesting to see what pad they give me with all the the traffic coming in and out of the station. You gotta love that. I mean, I think it's great. I mean, you know, it's not... Uh, Hello, and thank you for Just makes the game feel so much more alive. Drop the gear, ro rotate Please the VTOLs back. Still haven't seen the landing bay they want to give me. There it is. Okay, that makes more sense. Don't normally land over on this side, but that's just fine. You know, you can see, like I said, with the extra traffic, it's makes sense. Bring her in nice and smooth. And just set her down nice. And see how we're doing here. Do we get some post-flight stuff? We do. That's great. Go ahead and turn off those engines. And then we go. Like Tina saying, 27 SCU quant is a lot better than zero. That's absolutely correct. Still a very, very uh, respectable run. And in we go. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> My favorite is always when you're in a hurry and you've got alarms going off and you kind of jump in the elevator and absolutely hit the wrong, <laughs> hit the wrong place. You don't head to the lobby or think, oh man, can ever, oh, can it all go so well? <laughs> it definitely happens when you're in a hurry sometimes. Fortunately, I'm not this time. Pad seven, which yeah, that was an interesting pad. I normally don't land out out on those, but there wasn't a bit of traffic coming in. KSS has got a meeting. Hopefully, see you in a bit. Peace. Good KSS. Welcome. 
Appreciate you stopping in for sure, sir, and hopefully we'll catch you around the way. All right, we'll get this guy stored. Laya says, so if I understand well, 5,000 mass equals 50 SCU? Um, so the way that that would work is, um, you know, 5,000, you know, like the mass is, like if it's, if, if the mass is 1,000, it's 20 SCU. So it's two times. So, you know. get that in there so yeah I mean if you have a thousand mass it's 20 SEU you know um, I think that's you know you know that's kind of uh, that's kind of the, the way that I kind of always think about it in my head Leah for sure So any of those big rocks has potentially 100 SCU, you break them uh, with 25% quantanium and more. You know, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? You can find, like, on... The biggest rocks you're going to find in the halo are, is 5122. So, you know, I mean, a 5122, and if it's 49%, so almost half of it's quantanium, you know, you have 2500. I mean, you know, mass, obviously, that's going to be over 50 SCU, between 50 and 60 SCU. So... You can find rocks that are, you know, like 8,300 at 49%, and those are going to be up or close to, to 80 SCU in one rock. So, pretty amazing, really. Get some quantity. Hey, a little bit of borace. I'll always, I'll always do the borace. See anything you like? All righty, so got that in the hopper as well. We got about 50 SCU so far in the stream today. Not Nothing to... Nothing to cry about. Seems like you have to take percentage of quant in the rock and the percentage right. after the break. Yeah, I mean, the one thing is obviously you're looking for the purest, you know, in the breaks. So, you know, that's the that's the most important thing is 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 getting, um, you know, when you're when you're breaking rocks down, you always want to break the lowest percentages first in case there's despawns. The highest percentages last, but then you want to scoop the opposite direction, scoop the highest percentages first, and then the. Uh, you know, the other one, uh, you know, obviously leave, like, the, anything that's less than 100% for, for last, so you can kind of, you know, and then work your way down. I mean, you definitely want, there's definitely a, a, a little bit of a, of a meta there. So you break 30 SU, yes, estimate around 30% for a huge rock or more uh, percentage for smaller ones. Roger that. Yeah, a good way to think about it, I think, Leah, if you want to think about it like this, you're, you know, if a, like, if you're flying around in the Prospector, it's, it's maximum is 32 SU, right? So, I like to think about it like this, a 40-40, 4,000 mass at 40 SC, you know, uh, at 40%, so 4,000 mass at 40% is 32 SCU. So that's, that, you know, like, you know, 40-40 is kind of a good kind of a way to think about it. So, you know, if, so if you fly around in a prospector, you see a 5,000 mass at 37%, it's great. You know, you, you know, you're up around that, but uh, you know, 4,000 4, mass at 40% is 32 SEU. So we like to say 40 40s. You know, the, that that's just kind of the one way, one of the ways we like to call it. So why Carlos says you'll get, you know, like, you know, you'll kind of finish all those and, and then and then um. And then a uh, hollow in, yeah. You know, like I do break it up, Juan Carlos. I do have my Taurus will ho hold 174 SCU, so somewhere around that mark, if I have that much of it done, I'll just take them in then. 
Um, a lot of times, you know, I mine in spurts over two or three or four hours, so the jobs are finishing up within two or three or four hours. Um, I have, you know, depending on how much I have, though, I normally, I don't like to take much more than 170 some SCU, just so if for some reason there is some kind of a 30K or a server side issue where I lose connectivity, I don't lose it all and want, you know, like, you know, like a week's worth of Quantanium in one, in one run. So, you know, that's, that's one of the ways that I kind of uh, help offset that a little bit. Let's take a look at Prospector 2. Still got a couple of brands on board. We're looking good here. We'll go ahead and pull that guy out. We'll head back out. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. And Leah says you can't store raw quantanium in the station, right? It has to go in. That's absolutely correct. You have to you have to get it in the refinery. That's the only way to get it stable, um, for sure. And so, Welcome. Vehicle All right, we'll go ahead and pull this guy. Your vehicle has Pad two. It's true, though. That's Young is absolutely right. Once you land on a pad, once you store the ship, the timer's kind of officially um, stopped at that point, so you can work your way down and sell it, um, you know, type of thing. Uh, Leah says, because I got an Aurora MR, my idea is farm missions until I reach 55K, rent a prospector for one day, 50 cash, get one stack of Quantanium and get... Well, Quantanium mining, Leah, though, is not that easy with the rented prospector. It's, it's very, very difficult. You would be better off to do a one-day rental and go to Aberdeen and go after Baxalite, Laranite, and Terranite. Not only are those far more forgiving, um, they're still you'd make still quite a bit of money. I think you can make a, a few hundred thousand a day, um, you know, after you know, type of thing. I think you'll find that that's going to be far less um, forgiving uh, as a road, um, and definitely something that can be done, but. Um, Quantania mining in the rented prospector is not an easy thing because you can't upgrade the components. Quant mining in the rented prospector is extremely difficult. Yeah, that's, yeah uh, following what Young is saying there, exactly. It's, it's, now, mining, there's nothing wrong with going mining, right? Um, I think you would find that if you wanted to mine, no problem. Um, but I would go for, once again, Baxalite, Laranite, or Terranite. It's just because that the Quantanium is so unstable, the laser doesn't have enough debuff to kind of deal with it. This ma this ma Lancet mining laser that I'm using has negative 75% resistance and negative 75% instability. So it actually really calms down the quantanium. You know, the way that I kind of use it and the way that I stack a brand, it makes it look easy, but it's actually with that, with the, with kind of the um, introductory gear that the branded prospector has, it's not easy. And it's, you know, many cases doesn't have the energy to even crack the rock. And in other cases, it's just, um, you know, it's it's just one of those things where it's, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's, it's too unstable. So rent, the rented prospector is a great idea, though. There's nothing wrong with renting a prospector. But learning, you know, learning on Baxalite, Laranite, and Terranite over on Aberdeen, I think, is a better, is a better choice. Um, you know, you don't have a timer to get them back to the market. You can just kind of... You know, and you could wait you know, until all of those things are processed before you had to rent something and haul them in. I almost did a rented prospector week stream here where, you know, I was going to kind of do it all over three days. I decided against it. I decided, but, you know, like a rented prospector is, uh, is, is, is more of a backslide, laranite, and terranite operation. I do have a little video about that. It's not, it's not extensive. So 7.8, we're going to drop out of Quantum. Doe, I don't know if you're still around, but I will kind of walk through the scanning mechanic. Learn to walk, then learn to run. I agree with that 100%, Drac. It's a, it's a good idea to kind of get your feet wet at mining a little bit um, before you kind of get after the Quantanium as well. So the mining laser I have, Leah, is the Lancet MH1. That's the one that's the most, the, the widely recommended one for Quantanium mining. It, it's the lowest power, but it also is, is kind of the safest one because of the debuffs that it does. 
Alrighty, we came out in a nice place here. We're going to go ahead and turn around and set route. So, so the first thing we want to do is we want to turn off our quantum drive. We're going to go back and pivot. And we're going to be looking over here at Arc L1, okay? The next thing we want to do is pull out our mining laser. And this is the part that's a little tricky. You do want... I'm, I have mine set to mouse wheel uh, when I hold down the left alt. So now I can mouse wheel kind of these back and forth. You will want to have a 180 ping angle out in front of you. That's the recommended one. I mean, you can do a 360 as well. Um, but I'm going to ping out. Uh, it's a, kind of a cone out in front of me. And then once you see these, then you can actually then, with the mining laser out, you can actually come up here. You can focus down, you know, uh, and, and scan those, and you'll get the, the different types. Now, at 13.4 is too far away, so you will have to move in closer to, to that one. But the 10.9 you can definitely do. That ended up being a P-type. This 11.4 is absolutely comfortable. M type there, and then you know, once again, I said you know, that that 12. Here's a Q type right there at 12. Uh, it was a little a little over 12. Now, there's a big rock I'm flying by. You know. But let's go ahead now. Once you kind of are on one, then I always recommend rolling it back to 90 and then just kind of pinging out in front of you. You can see it was quite a distance away. Uh, it's 10 and closing now. And so I'm not flying that fast right now. I didn't actually turn up my speed. But this is a, you know, this is how you kind of do it. Once you kind of identify it as a Q-type dough, you know, if you're still around, uh, you just kind of head in on it and then give it a look. Looks like it. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it looks like just a single rock, but we'll have to see. Young Smooth says, "Yeah, I got lucky on Microtech uh, Moon. Managed to mine 24 SU quant, but I have to tell you, I've aged 10 years now. Stressful as I was fighting the wind. Yeah, that's it's tedious. Uh, that's what I, you know. I, I just I don't like that myself. So this is not going to be a great rock, you guys. Um, you know." We'll, we'll go in and get the details on it, but we'll get the deets. <laughs> but it's not going to be a great rack. It's probably going to be like a 12 percenter or something like that, I'm thinking, or maybe a 15, something. Maybe an 8. <laughs> you know. Nine point seven one. there we go. <laughs> Focus that down and see what that is there. Now... If you call out there and you don't, you ping them a few times and you don't get any response back, those are going to be ones that you're definitely going to want to avoid. They're probably an unscannable rock. Now, you know, we'll switch back kind of uh, to the 180 ping. And off we go. There's some opportunities out this way. So we'll kind of close the focus. That's an M type. That's P-type. We'll keep on ahead. Once again, roll back out to 179. Just kind of keep on keeping on. Moving on in here. You gotta get within 12.2 before you ping, though. That's one thing you have to do, and you always give it a couple. And if it, they don't, if they just don't give you any noise back, then you just kind of keep, you just move on, right? That's just kind of how you do it. Some unscannables there for sure. We'll keep on moving. M type. All right, I like it. I'm 
think we got a reading on this one, but we'll give it another try. Nope. All right, we'll just keep on ahead. Scroll her back out to 180. Kind of more of an active ping situation. You just kind of want to keep on keep pinging there. That's going to be Q type right there. So looks like uh, it looked like maybe just a single rock. We'll have to kind of get up there and see it as a 5122. Um, and of course, you know, you know, smart thing to do at that point is just to kind of 90 it, just to kind of keep a, you know, it'll keep the opportunity marker out in front of you, so you kind of know when it's coming. Those Q types are what you're looking for for sure. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually turn my speed up just a touch because I am flying a little slow. Looks like it's just going to be a single rock. I see it there. Will be interesting to see. I think don't think it's a great percentage, but sixteen percent or yeah, it didn't it didn't look like it was going to be a great percentage for sure. Got an opportunity over this way. That's an E-type. One up here at 11.7. Send a couple of pulses that way. There's a Q-type. All right, we'll head on in on that Q-type right there. Go ahead and roll back to 90 degrees. So Arcadius is asking, can you crack big rocks now with the rented prospector? Um, you certainly can crack better rocks with the rented when you have some mining gadgets, for sure. Dark side, greetings to you, sir. How are you? Nice to see you, Dark. That's awesome. I think this is just one rock here again. <coughs> this Q-type here. It's not going to be a great one either. Drizna says 1k subs. I missed it. Yeah, Driz, I, I did. I got, you know, we broke 1k last night and I was so happy. You know, I mean, obviously you guys have have been just, you know, so good about it. It's going to be a P-type there. P-type there. I might have actually was hitting the one in front of an E-type there. Yep, I was. Changed the angle down and kind of slipped past that one. There's some more Q-types right there. Or at least one, and we'll go pivot in on that guy and take a look. So yeah, Driz, I did. I got, I did. I hit 1K, and I'm. Yeah, it's not going to be a great rock. No big deal. Looks like there might be more than one there, though. So that's the beauty of, uh, of this. Yeah, you know, couple of couple of Q types there. Give me the results. That, that's a blue cap right there. What about this guy here? Uh, this could be okay. Uh, 51, 22 by 25. So it's not it, it's not terrible. Um, you know, you have 250. Um, of course, you, so you have 1250. So around 25 SCU. A little better than, probably around 27 SCU or so for this one. So, you know what? We'll just go ahead and uh, we'll mine this. This is something we definitely want to mine for sure. Drizzle says, congratulations. Also would love to scout for you one day. Yeah, man, for sure. We'll have, we'll make that happen. Anybody who comes on the stream and ever wants to mine, I, I will, I'll find time to mine with you for sure. You know, so I promise, Driz, we can make that happen for sure. I, you know, I am a, a totally accessible dude. You know, not, I don't always have a ton of time, but I'm always happy to go mining, for sure, it's a, as you can imagine. Andrea says, I'm back. Welcome back, Andrea. Short meeting. That's great. Darkside says, well-deserved on 1K subs. Truly happy for you. Thank you so much, Darkside. I, I'm really happy as well. Um, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, a lot of 
dark side is you know a lot of you guys who just come back you guys make the stream i mean i've said it over uh just a lot because i want you know it's you know i've been kind of floored by you know by how blessed i've been to have people dark just like you who come and, and participate and and offer advice and help the other players i mean yesterday we had a guy come and say that you know, he lost all of his AUEC, and people on the stream ended up, you know, I gave him 100000 but four or five others gave him 100000 as well. I think at least four others or three others or whatever, and so he ended up with 400000 You know, that type of stuff, man, that's awesome. I mean, when you can directly impact somebody's day or, or that type of thing. And so it is really, really, really cool um, to, 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 hit, to hit those subs and onward, right? I mean, we're just going to continue to do what we do, which is, Mining. I do have. I'm having a sit down today with uh, with Spectre Aid, and we're going to talk a lot more about other industrial stuff. Uh, soon, the Quant Calc app will have a waiting list for mining with me. Yeah, you know, that would be great, Andreas. That would be, you know, I mean, if, I would, you know, that, you know, for sure. I think. Uh, um, not. I don't know that I ever would do some kind of a Patreon thing, but if I ever did a Patreon thing, I think that'd be one of the things I do. Is, you know, is is, is kind of just chunk out. You know, blocks of time, like an hour and a half or something, to go mining with somebody. W whatever way they wanted to do it. Mole mining, hand mining, rock mining. I think that would be fun, you know. So 5122 mass, very doable. It should be up in the green here before too long. And uh, another beautiful... Another beautiful run out here in the air and halo. The air and halo's been hot. I mean, it was hot yesterday, and it's been hot today, too. It hasn't taken long to find things. Um, with this kind of, you know, with being able to kind of long-range scan those, I, you know, I kind of cut off the gas area a little too soon. <laughs> she fell right back out. Kind of keeping it honest here. <laughs> Straggling, laughing, it was laughing by said So, good break. All right, I love it. Nice clean break. Now, hopefully, it broke fairly clean. This doesn't. This looks like it's going to have. So, yeah. So that's not what we definitely don't like to see a five percenter. You know, that's uh. You know, that's not what we're looking for for sure. Um, there's enough in there where, you know, it does get, get after a little bit of what you got. There's a 74 percenter. And there is a 45 percenter. There's a 5 percenter. So, yeah, she didn't break up real clean, but that's okay. We're still going to do well over 20 SCU, I think. And we got lots to break up. So, let's go. We'll start out with the 17 percenter. Why not? off the laser entirely. It seemed like it wanted to wait a long time to fall off there. There must have been some kind of a laggy spike there type of thing. I'll let it kind of creep back up in there. No problem. We got this. Andrea says, I went to bed at 6 a.m. yesterday because every time I went to the Halo, I found another rock. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. The Halo's been hot, Andreas, for sure. Profits are more important. Uh, Drax says he knows me too good. Knows I'm always looking to blow chunks. That's exactly right, Drax. He says, how can you tell if it's a good break when it breaks before scanning? Um, it, really, it depends on like how much red there is and like how how wide the optimal window is. It's that those are just some tells, Leah, for sure. They're not, it's not perfect science, but it's you know kind of give you some tells. If you know it's a great big green optimal window, it's it's not it's definitely not gonna have anything in it the thinner the optimal window the the more quantanium usually it contains and Drac says you can sleep when you're dead that's very true Drac we'll have to 
see how this guy reacts. You know, it seems like she's holding in pretty steady. See if I can finish this break or she, she falls out or not. Uh, you have to have break finished. I think that's 5 percent or how much is it? It's five percent over. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how much. I don't know. That's five percent. Five times. It's only forty-five. I mean, it's not even a. Not even an SCU in that thing. I don't. One point nine instability is definitely a little wild to, to, to mess with. You can see it. You kind of gotta fight her back and forth a little bit. She could certainly fall out. Looks like that 16% ended up being a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, we're able to break that as well. There's that 5%er. There's still... Is that all of them that I really need to break? There is that guy has nothing. No, there's the 74%er right there. All right, we'll break that guy next. Good prospecting here in the Halo these last couple of days for sure. Uh, you know, being able to scan um, at a distance is, is you know have really paid some dividends. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't complain. I've made a couple million now in the Halo in a in a couple of days. So that is really solid. Drag says Fallout better than blow blowout. Yeah, that's for sure. You can start building back again. You can't glue rocks back together again. You absolutely are right about that. That's a 23 percenter. So we're gonna leave that guy alone. Hopefully this uh, the rest of it broke pretty clean. We're not gonna get a ton of hundos out of this guy, so we'll take him when we can get him. That's for sure. That's a good solid uh, five SCU though right there, and this is going to be another probably pretty solid one. I, I'm assuming. Oh. The rest of these not so much, but these that's this first ten SCU or so is not going to be too shabby. So twenty three percent are there. We're going to be discerning with the laser, pulling the best stuff first. We'll take that hundo. Center. <laughs> Not great. Okay. Yeah, we don't want. We'll leave that. Yeah, it's 100% inert. What about this guy over here? Sixteen percenter. We knew that the a lot of this didn't break great. So there's a hondo right in front of us, though. Oh, and the quantanium reset again, you guys. Look at that. I wonder what's going on with that. It's you know I, I I think it has something to do with the FLTRXL. I think somebody was saying like they think it kind of has uh has you know it does a reset. So we're only down to four. <laughs> that's the second time that's happened. So we'll just kind of scoop what we can here and hopefully get at least ten SCU. And it happens. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, it's just one of those things. I mean, it's just, they'll, you know, they'll get that stuff sorted out. They don't want people, you know, mining and not getting everything they're, they're supposed to. Yeah, it probably is the FLTRXL. There's a 75-25. 
Tina says, I'm on your server in case of issues. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. Yeah, these are some yucky percentages, you guys. We'll grab what we can here and hopefully get up to 10. That's the you when we were. We really were looking at a nice load, but she definitely bugged and all of our hundos are gone. Terry, our best days are out of us. They are, Terry, for sure. No question about it. Okay, there's. Percent here. Just kind of grabbing the tailings of what was left here. Pushed into ten, at least ten SCU. I don't think a lot of this has anything in it. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. So it's this guy who's left. And we'll take what we can get our hands on. I mean, it is what it is. Scanning mechanics are working good, but the FLTR XL I think is might maybe causing us a little snag on that. So I have to pull that guy off there and see if uh you kind of see what what's what's the scoop there. All right, we just kind of Spool up the drive and head on in. Drax says, picking up any extra stuff worth claiming? Not really, Drax. I mean, you know, if it's Laranite or Terranite or Baxalite or, you know, maybe some Borace, I could have looked and seen if there was anything else worth grabbing while I was out there. Um, you know, but the Quantanium, obviously, you can kind of prioritize because it's worth so much more than everything else. I mean, in some cases, four times as much. into Arc L1 and we'll drop this stuff off here. Tina Peters says, don't invite me unless needed. Uh, me being in a party usually means something blows up. Oh, Tina. You know, I've appreciated your, um, absolutely appreciated you um, coming and flying wing for sure. That has been awesome. I do think sometimes, I wonder if maybe when when more than one of us are together, we kind of attract um, more, um, you know, more spawns of, of NPC missions. It's something to think about in the future. Um, and it, it ha we, there's definitely been a couple of crime stat things ha that have gone on. Pyro says, what got you into sp space games or SC in general? Pyro, excellent question. So... My favorite game, I've, uh, I've mentioned this a couple times on the stream, in 1988 um, on the Commodore 64 there was a, a, a Elite came out, it wasn't Elite Dangerous or anything like that obviously, it was just the original David Braben's Elite, that particular version just got me into space games, like I, it's my favorite game of all time, I played it endlessly for hours and hours and hours and hours, just loved it. And um, so that's what got me into space games. Of course, I did play all the Wing Commander games. Um, you know, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. All those types of games. Uh, Star Wars Galaxies. Um, and so, in 2014, I backed Star Citizen. You know, I put in a, you know, uh, uh, I, I backed with, with the Cutlass Black. Grave Digger says, by the way, got overclocking the mining laser to work. It has to oh yeah, that's right, Grave, I forgot. You do have to have the mining laser out before it to turn on. That's exactly right. So, um, so yeah, I, you know, I, I will say then what what got me into Star Citizen was not last no, uh, not last Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving before then. So I'm approaching now a year and six months playing. Um, 
I was watching an Obsidian Ant video, and Obsidian Ant was talking about how there were game loops in Star Citizen, and I'm like, you know, I bought Star I, I backed Star Citizen in 2014. I'd like to say it was either 2016 or 2017. I logged in. I'm like, oh, there's a hangar now. You know, and, and I didn't really pay any, any attention to it, but when Obsidian Ant said that there were game loops in Star Citizen, like a persistent universe, I then went and downloaded it, because I owned it, and I went, and I they were giving away the 135C at the time, and I did some box missions with that, and I went hand mining, and I just fell in love. I just fell in love with the game. You know, I fell in love with the mining loop. I, I do industrial things in games. I'm not, you know, like, um, I was much more of an architect in Star Wars Galaxies than, you know, than a combat guy. Although you had to grind combat stuff in order to become Jedi. But, you know, like, I definitely am far more industrial-based, and that's kind of the fact that you have mining and salvaging and hauling and and all those logistics and all that stuff. I love all that kind of stuff. So that's what kind of got me into Star Citizen for sure. Hello, and thank you for contacting EDO Lab. Please proceed to assign landing bay. So we're going to bring this guy in nice and smooth. We only managed to get 10 SCU because of a kind of a weird reset. I think we would have had a nice high 20s SCU run, but somewhere around, I don't know, 13 or 14 SCU, it did kind of reset the SCU. No big deal. It happens, and, you know, it's it happened twice in a row now, so something that we definitely, you know, we're probably going to have to pull off the FLTRXL. And we can do that for sure. All right, nice tap down landing here. We'll go ahead and do a post flight. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Tina says all mining lasers can be overclocked. I, yeah, I don't disagree. Revenant Brothers says, uh, how has uh, he made those HUD elements yellow? Excellent question, Reverend. Revenant. Now, Revenant, I do have a I do have a, a video that addresses it. It's called Yellow Icons. But, you know, specifically, it's the Errol Grey Cat helmet. So here, if you take a look at this, it's this armor set. It, it's the Grey Cat Errol helmet. That's what will give you the yellow icons, Revenant. Nice question. It's like one that I get answered, you know, get... I do get a lot of that. That question comes up a lot on the channel. I do have a video. It's called Yellow Icons, that tells you kind of where you can pick that stuff up. So yeah, it, the yellow icons are nice. I mean, I do like. I mean, I do like the fact that you do get the yellow icons with. Uh, and Young Sue says, "How do you overclock?" It's on the UI. You have a, I have a video on that actually too, Young Smoon. If you were to go check out my videos, um, oh, I think there's, it's a short one about overclocking the Lancet. that shows you how to do it. Um, I only made it about a month ago or so, um, but it's, it's, it's. You want to use the overhead. Um, you have to have to make sure the mining laser's out. You go to the power settings. Oh. One second, on, on the elevator. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. It's funny. All right, we'll store this guy. Please visit us again. And down we'll head. M. Suggs is asking a question. You know, Suggs, yeah, we've seen that a lot, where people have been coming on in the stream, Suggs, and says, you know, they, they've lost all their money. That's been happening a lot, sir. One thing we I will suggest, you might try logging into an EU server and then logging into like an Aussie server and then or a character reset. Those have been things that people have done to fix those issues for themselves, Suggs. So yeah, it's it's definitely something people have been mentioning in the stream for sure that they do lose all their money. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Sorry that uh you know it's under such a you know, kind of a probably a stressful situation when you when you lose all your AUEC. I can appreciate that. Drax says, need more color options for the icons? I don't disagree with that. Young Smooth says, thanks, Space. I'll go look after the stream. Yeah, it, it will help for sure. Andre says, works 
Also with arrow helmet hostels and bunkers. You, you can find those arrow helmets for sure. Leo says, hi, man. How's things going? Um, Leo, so we've had a couple of good runs, but we've um, we actually have hit this bug where our Quantanium is being kind of reset. So we're going to pull off the FLTRXL, head out one more time and see if maybe that's the culprit. Two times in a row we've had our Quantanium kind of, you know, we're, at, we're like going over 20 and then it'll reset back down to zero. Suggs is saying, "Yeah, at least I'm not alone." That's exactly right. So this is like, this run I had a, was gonna was gonna be like a 27 SC and only not being a 10, uh, you know, specifically because um, you know of that particular reset bug. So no big deal. I mean, we'll confirm it and you know we'll add it to the pile. It's it's absolutely fine, but certainly not what we were looking for there. Pyro says, "One of my favorite things about SC is getting lost in ships trying to find the bridge." Fair enough. I can appreciate that. All right, I'm a hundred hundred word there no Suggs you're not alone man it's people have been people absolutely have been coming and saying and you know and I know character resets have fixed it for somebody some people I know going to different servers have fixed it for some people I hope that you get lucky and one of those things works for you sir so in our pre-flight we'll go ahead and pull off the FLTRXL and we'll just throw another brant on there. And uh, we'll head out to the Air and Halo one more time. Really for posterity, for science, to see if we maybe we don't experience the bug. Like, I could jump servers and I could do a couple of other things. But considering it's happened two out of three times, it would have really helped me if, you know, if I if I take the FLTR XL off and I don't experience it. Then, you know, I mean, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I, one time's not a great sample. But, you know, it's one of the, it's one of those things. So... Hey, some of you new faces, too, by the way. If you do like mining content or are chatting anything, Star Citizen, be sure to like and sub. I haven't asked in the stream at all today. Uh, I'm so happy that you guys just pushed it over 1K the other day. But, yeah, if you happen to, you know, do, feel welcome. Please come ask your questions. Tina says she'll be right back in 15 minutes. That's awesome, Tina. Thank you for uh, uh, letting me know about that. Chug says, good afternoon all. Hey, Chug, how are you, sir? All right, so Prospector 2, we're going to pull off the FLTRXL. And we'll just pop another Brant in its place. I'm a Brant guy, so that's fine. You know, we're going to head back out to the Halo one time. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. And, uh, and see how we do. And maybe see this time, maybe we can avoid that kind of, that redraw bug where it redraws, you know, how much um, Quantanium you have on board. Welcome. Your vehicle has been delivered. Pad two. We'll go grab this guy. We'll head back out to the Halo. The Halo's been so hot lately. So I think we'll just head right back out to the air and Halo and see how we do. One last run here for sure, we'll out to the Halo and and uh, try and make it count. We had a Uni going and lost it, and then we had a high twenties going and lost it from that silly bog. And so, you know, no big deal. You know, like I said, I'm just mentioning. Chug says, uh, "Great stream with Star the other day." Thank you, Chug. I appreciate that. I really enjoy. Um, you know, Star Streams is a great guy. Um, you know, obviously has a fantastic, you know, streaming, um, uh, platform, um, you know, just, uh, you know, I really enjoy hanging out with him and, and spending some time with him. I hope that we can do more of that in the future. Um, you know, and, uh, and I'm definitely gonna, I know that, um, we're actually planning on doing some industrial conversation stuff. And so I'm definitely going to see if I can talk him into coming and chat with us as well. So. You know, um, excited about that. I mean, obviously, you know, the go-to rock miner of the server, in my mind, not even close. I mean, you know, he has hours and hours and hours of that gameplay loop that I don't know that other people do. <laughs> you know, and, and other things, too, as well. I mean, but like I said, I really enjoyed it. I hope that we get a chance to do that more. Hey, why am I going to Lyria? Eh, could go to Lyria. Nah, we'll go to the Halo. Keep kind of driving that home. Thank you. And please visit again. Fracturing 
Brant, 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 huh? You got a lot of Brants going. All right, we'll kind of fly underneath here and... Spool this guy up and we'll jump out of once again at 7.8 and make it happen. Yeah, beautiful day here. It's, uh, I don't know, it's getting warmer out. I suppose I should check that. I'm going to turn around to a different computer here. Hold on, you guys. Uh, it has gotten, it was really chilly this morning. It has gotten better. Yeah, I mean, it was very chilly this morning in the 30s. Uh, what time is it over here? Excellent question. It is 11.45 a.m., Laos, and I normally work, right? I have this week off of work, so I'm able to stream earlier, and I thought it would be fun for the people who don't get to see my streams a lot of the times, um, you know, kind of you know, get a little earlier start time today. Um, Suggs is saying, just wondering how to start gets the gameplay for 10 to 12 hours at a time. Oh, yeah. He, you know, how Star does that, he's got incredible stamina. I mean, that guy's, oh, he's got it for days. You know, and, and even he says that he doesn't necessarily always recommend that for other people. But you know what? It's worked for him, and I, I have nothing but respect for, for that level of grind. I mean, it, it's, you know, and I know he's enjoying what he's doing, which is an important thing. You know what I mean? So, you know, but yeah, I have not, just endless respect for that. Alrighty, we're in a good shape here. We'll kind of pivot back towards Arc L1. Turn this thing off here. Ah, Andre says, I got enough brands to calm down his ex wife. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Leo says, Early is good, man. Here at 1746, nice after work. That's awesome. You know, I was. That's what I was thinking. You know, it might be nice to kind of. Um, you know, to, to stream at a time where, you know, I try to sneak on in different times. So, you know, because I do have a lot of people say, you know, I really like your stream. I don't get to catch it live. So, there's a P type. We're kind of angling in tight on these guys. That's an M type. M type cluster there, actually. There's an E type. There's an E type. M type. Oh. Go back to our M type. Oh, we'll start flying here towards RKL1 in just a second, but I do like to kind of hit as many of the op opportunity markers as I can just to make sure that there's. All right, well, so we'll start kind of flying in and, and start making a little headway here. I think I did look at this one. I don't. I, don't, I think it's a. Yeah, it's just it's a P type. So, in we go. I'm sure I scanned a lot of those ones, so we're just gonna kind of keep moving a little bit. Put a little bit of. Andre says 1748 here too. Worst time zone ever. <laughs> M type. There's an E type. This here was that one that we we're just flying by. Yep, there's the P type. Alrighty. RH Well says good morning. How do you drop out of quantum? Oh, you just uh so while you you know you use the same button that you use to enter quantum RH wells, uh, so if you hit like the if you're holding down B to quantum, then you're gonna want to hit B really quickly. Just tap it. So it's the same it's the same button that toggles it off as you're in quantum. So KCA, how you doing, KC? What are the different types you keep mentioning? Well, that's an excellent question, right? Uh, if you look here. It is, 
look at the scan results. They'll say what it is, right? It's a P type. We're looking for a Q type here in the air in Halo, right? So this is kind of a new thing, uh, you know, like that was kind of discovered. And I, you know, Red Monster Gaming put a video out. I mentioned this yesterday. Um, where if you have the mining laser out and you use scan angle, you know, and so I'm scanning angle back to, you know, as you can see the, on the red, the, the big red number on the left hand side, you know, right now it's 360, it just changed to 179. So you get kind of a cone scan out in front of yourself, like a 179 or a 180. You send a ping out, and then you can see that there are something out in the distance, right? So there it is. I'm going to start heading towards it now. I'm gonna now turn down my scan angle to 0.2, and as soon as I'm 12.3 away with the mining laser out, I can actually ping this thing, and they don't always work, and if they don't work, you know that it's a, a dead rock. But look, that tells me it's an E-type, so I know that I don't wanna fly anywhere near that thing, because I'm not looking for E-type rocks, I'm looking for Q-types. So it's just one of those things that's, you know, it's a little bit of change in the air in Halo, um, and so, you know, you can kind of, you know, discover at very far distances away what exactly is that particular type of... That is an M-type, so we're, we know we're not looking for M-types. And the different types have either Baxalite or Laranite or whatever in them. Um, you know, you can look that up, but we're, we're, we just want Q-types because that's, those are Quantanium. So moving the scan angle, closing the scan angle. And you gotta be, when you ping, you gotta be within 12 point, you know, now this, I didn't get any feedback from this. This is likely gonna be, first of all, if it's three rocks, it's usually not Quantanium. But second of all, they're not necessarily pinging back, so you're not getting any backup information from them. So, you know, if, if you don't get, if they don't give you a type, they're 99% of the time unscannable. Chug says, I found 123 Asked you of Quantum Lear this morning. Really nice find. Yeah, that sounds like a really nice find, sir. All right, so right there we have a... Uh, let's kind of ping it a couple times. Give it a chance. If you don't get a ping back, though, you don't don't bother flying towards it. Every time, at least I found, it's uh, it's not it's what you're looking for. All right, that was an E-type back there. There was a, and that was a P-type. That one actually did kind of pull itself out of the muck, which is cool. All right, back to the 180 scan. Yeah, that's a nice load of, of Quantanium Chug for sure. The E-type there. So yeah, this is kind of a new a way to kind of, you know, like using the mining laser at the same time um, as, uh, as as doing an active ping and having the scan angle the right, you know, and you've, like I said, you got to get under, tw uh, you know, uh, right under 12.2 there. And if it does, you know, if you do get, uh, you know, and you give it a couple of pings, right? You do want to give it an opportunity. Sometimes the server's a touch slow, but if you ping it a few times and it doesn't give you any feedback, then just keep moving on. Um, and then, yeah, we've been able to discover lots and lots of Quantanium Q-type rocks doing this uh, in the last couple days in the Halo. That's an M-type there. I didn't think that one was giving me anything. It wasn't. That's an E-type. That's P type. So Rock I says, what's your scan angle? So Rock, the scan angle I start with, right, is 180. That's gonna put a cone scan out in front of me. So my scan angle is 180. And as soon as I have things that I want to try and scan, I actually just collapse it to two. Now now there are different angles that produce better, but two seems to work, you know, has worked for me pretty good. Now that is an M-type cluster. You can see there was a lot of... Uh, that's an M-type there. We'll fly towards this one here. Tina Peterson, the look on an elderly couple's faces when they approach you in English and you respond to them in German, priceless. <laughs> Fair enough. 
That's awesome. So yeah, 180 CN is what you're kind of that kind of gets you the, the the that gets you opportunity markers, and that is and then you tighten it down to two. You can see that's Q type right out there, 9.7 away. I know that's a Q type. Now it could just be a single rock, but we're gonna fly over there anyways. And so this is what's kind of changed here, rock. I don't know if you, you know, it's this is really making the air and halo a, a much more viable. I actually made a couple million on a halo in a couple of days here. So now this is just a. Uh, uh, a, a sink, you know, potentially a single rock, you know, certainly do not fly right at the opportunity icon, you know, don't do that at all. Now you can actually roll back here to like a 90, you know, and, and it will put the scan right out in front of you. There, there, it's right there though. I can see it. It looks like it's, looks like it's, oh, there are a couple rocks. There. Ooh, that might be a nice rock actually, you guys. So yeah, you can see I found the Q-type. That that one right there, that's going to be a nice rock. I have a feeling. Yeah, that's a 4948. That's a great rock. So uh, I've got plenty of brands on board. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to orientate myself this way, actually. Uh, yikes, I don't like that. Oh, there's a big rock right there, too, in Oh, my stars in heaven, you guys. Sorry about that. I'll catch that real quick. Give me a sec. I definitely need to learn how to block these. I'm going to report that person for that report. All right, that got rid of that. So beautiful rock. Chug says took us uh, in turns. It took us back to Arkell One due to an issue with the mole. It was the best community run I had so far. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Uh, KC8 says doing good here thanks to a generous donation from somebody watching one of one of my frustration streams. I got a prospector, but I can't buy the Focus Three modules because terminals are broken. KC8, you should check to see if any of the Dumpers Depots are selling those. Because you can go to Dumpers Depots and get like a Lancet. You can get some mining stuff from Dumpers Depot. I think you should probably try and give that a try. You know, that may be, um, that may be an option for you. Is they may, a Dumpers Depot like on Port Alisar or on Area 18 may sell that thing. And yeah, so give it a try that way for sure. We're gonna break this rock and and hopefully get a uni out of it. There's plenty of stuff in this one, so. Now, of course, this rock is gonna definitely want to play. Uh, you know, there's it's a high percentage of quantum. It's gonna be up and down. The other thing is, Rock Guy's absolutely right. You can also try and buy things like that off displays. Like the different HUR, the different um, refineries are going to have displays down there, and you might figure out which one's on display, and you can just just hold down F on the display and purchase it. Excellent point, Rock, and one that I should definitely be, be talking about. I may make a little video today that talks about where to get some of the more crucial things that people like to to buy with the server you know I, you think you know maybe they're waiting to get through the weekend you would think that maybe they were going to patch i think you'd have to pat you can't leave the mole unable to extract long term you know or those particular things not working so it's going to be interesting are they just going to get through invictus and then deal with it or you know what's going to be the idea there because like i said you can't leave the mole long term unable to extract i wouldn't believe that would be a something that they would want to do. Falling out again, but I'm kind of managing it okay. 
want it to just I don't want it to spike up major into the still kind of working its way through good break all right so that guy's got nothing in it for sure half this rock is spontaneous the Lancet MH1 Hurston Tammany and Sons. There's a, there, you know, that's a, an excellent one. Uh, and uh, MT Shubin Interstellar. Yep, that's definitely they're at Shubin for sure. And Dumpers Depot and Alisar. That is absolutely correct. Yeah, this guy broke up yucky. Oh, there's a, there's 24 SCU though, and so I didn't break up that yucky. I guess. Uh, that's, uh, you know, the rest of it kind of broke up yucky, but there was a nice, nice big chunk in there. 68, that's nothing. That's a 68, there's a 41, 12. All right, so this guy here is 24 SCU. That's 40, that's 60. So yeah, I'll break these down. I'll go ahead and break, you know, break all four of these down and we should be able to scoop, hopefully we can pick enough out Brant modules are also at Port Alisar for sure. Seems like. Oh. Looked over at the chat, and that's what I kind of got. Just trying to be super grumpy, but yeah, we we dealt with it just fine. We definitely got Brants for days, so. Should be fairly straightforward here. Rock says I had a couple nice days, a uh, couple nice days days ago, uh, and I extracted, kept going. Um, only ended up with about ten. Yes, that's happened to me twice, Rock. Today in this stream, as a matter of fact, where like I'm about to get a uni or something, but I, I don't because it. Um. It changes the, all of a sudden how much I've extracted down to a lower amount. And so people have been saying that it's potentially the FLTR XL. So I actually took that off for this run to see if I it would do better. You know, I mean, obviously I like having the FLTR XL, but uh, you know, a couple of runs there in a row, I, like it, it just it it um, tuned me down for whatever reason. It it said I wasn't scooping anymore, <laughs> and so. Cool, got that one broke. We'll go next on this guy here. Pretty good mass on this one here. This is a nice rock right here. 24 SCU of pure quantanium. We'll definitely lean on these brands to get this all cracked up, but this is a nice, like I said, this is a nice rock right here. Oh, Rock says you don't equip that one. Yeah, that's interesting. That's what, you know, we'll see. Like I said, it, the last two runs in a row, it's done it to me, right? The last two runs in a row, it has definitely, um, definitely redrew drew my amount of quantanium I was taking in. So, and I took the FLTRXL off. So, you know, and that was kind of a thought. It might be that unit. So we'll have to see. It's interesting that you said it happened to you and you don't have it. So, all right, got that guy broke too. 
right, there's an 88. Oh, my stars. That was not good. That was a very little guy. So we'll have to see how this ends up. Hopefully it will fall out before it does. It was a tiny little mass, so I kind of... I gassed that one way too much because it's only a 334. No big deal there. Notice how I kind of let it fall out. And we'll just go right back to kind of put the brant on it. Climb it back up in here. This is not going to be... A very little percentage is going to hold this in here. Morning, power. Oh, I looked over at the chat, and that's what I, that's what I got. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. We'll get this guy. It's been a very shaky .71, I'll tell you that. We'll take it, though. This is bad filtration system. You know, potentially 1% of earned in it deserves... Yeah, I, you know, definitely, I think that's exactly what it is. It's that one. All right, we'll get this guy broke. Down to four. Let's look around here. I don't think I have anything else to break. That's the other rock in general. So let's go ahead and start pulling. You know, there's a lot of hundos down here in this in this neck of the woods, so we'll start pulling those on board. What determines the uh, uh, Leah's asking? What determines the white bar going up or not? Man, uh, man managed to go to the top when breaking the first rock. It doesn't seem to do it after that. I'm not sure I understand that question, Leah. Thinking about what you're saying, it may only affect some chips. I have two FLTR XLs. Yeah, you never know. I mean, great for sure. I mean, nothing's nothing's penned in stone for sure. Nothing in that guy. Fifty-four percent are there. What determines the white bar going up or not? Managing to go up when breaking the first big rock, it doesn't seem to do it after that. Um, oh, the side, the mass is. You know, if you're talking about the laser intensity, bigger rocks take a lot longer to cook. That's what it is. And so, bigger rocks. You know, the the higher the mass. The, the, the quicker, you know, um, you know uh, or the slower you can build energy into the rock. I think that probably is, is the best way to answer that question for you. Uh, uh, but let me know if it doesn't make sense. Casey, it says, search the most information. says they're only available from Hurston L1 and Hurston L2. But I've tried other places and found them. Andrea says, the resistance. Yeah, the resistance is the main thing that stops you from... The resistance of the rock is the main thing that stops you from uh, um, being able to mine it. Resistance and mass is in the combination. Fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. So we're crossing 20 SCU now. There was a lot of SCU in this rock, and I hope that there's, you know, that we're able to kind of keep finding some hundos here, even though we're starting to kind of... We're looking around to see. That's a, you know... There's another nice hundo. This is, I read somewhere in the wiki that there's a weak point. Our module helps that. You know, definitely people believe in the weak point. I don't know that I have had as much luck with that. I definitely think there are parts of the rock that you articulate over and you do get more of a reaction one way or the other for sure, though. 
You know, I'm not a thousand percent sold on the weak point of the rock thing myself. It's just, I haven't been able to just kind of keep, like, to validate that in any way. But there are definitely people who firmly believe in that. And, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't argue against it. You know, I mean, everybody has their own experiences. 75 percenter. Two seventy-eight. There's a ninety-eight percenter. Forty. Oh, there's a big hundo. That's the guy we're looking for. That should do it for us, right? Now we got a full thirty-two SCU there. All right, let's get a little bit of a. Uh, you know, we'll look behind us a little bit, make sure we're okay. Looking good. We're gonna back away. That is a full 32, that's a uni right there for sure. So we'll try and get this in safely and make sure that we can. So good, you know, she broke up clean enough, so that's good. And in we go with the full 32 SCU of Quantanium. So that's that's uh, absolutely what we're looking for there. Andrea says, there are weak points that charge up the rock, but those are usually pretty unstable and you can just sit in one spot and as far as just, you know, and that's, what, there, I think that that's the right thing to say, right, Andreas? I think you're saying it right. Is there are, yeah, no disappearing stuff for sure, Leah, for sure. There are spots that seem that they're more, there's, there's more um, instability in those spots. I definitely see that because you can see more volatility. It'll swing up and down more. Um, but I don't know that I've ever seen it where I can permanently put it on a spot and it just goes and goes and gets it just and absolutely just gets hotter because I'm on that spot. And clearly, if I move it, and I've you know, I've spent I've been I've been a lot of hours on the lasers. You know, you you I would I think I you know I have done all sorts of articulation stuff. You know, where you're kind of moving the thing around. I have been mining forever, and I definitely have never found where I, if I find some magic spot on the rock, it just constantly goes up. I've just never seen it, you know, myself. And I don't, you know, like other people just, whatever, different people have different experiences. So it's always, you know, I'm not saying I'm right and anybody's wrong, that's for sure. Tina says, to crack a rock, you need to overcome mass plus resistance. To do this, you need a great combo of consumables on the laser and or combined use of the laser consumables and attachments. That's an excellent way to state it, Tina. Really. That is an excellent way to state it. Andrea says, if you're not patient enough, just use the surge instead of chasing weak uh, spots. It's safer. Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely uh, use, you know, there are a lot of people who use the surge. It is interesting to me. Um, I have had a lot of people say, you know, hey, I used the surge and then I blew myself up. So it's the one, you know, it's the one thing I've always thought about the surge. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. I think that you can become really... You can really learn the surge and learn how much to let the laser intensity decay almost perfectly before you double surge. You definitely can do that enough where you can get the hang of it. Um, but I have had more people um, come to me and say, you know, I used the surge and blew myself up. And I don't know how much time you're saving yourself if you're, if you're blowing yourself up. <laughs> A lot. You know, it's one of those things. That's kind of, you know, like even, you know, I've, I've done a lot of double surge stuff, you know, to break bigger rocks, and, and I, you know, I, I do enjoy it, but I do think that the, the FLTR XL and a couple brands for me just seems to be the most consistent, and part of that is because I'm not so worried about the primary break as much as I am the secondary breaks having a 2.5 instability. You know, that can be a very tedious, you know, situation, especially if you're encountering a little bit of a lag type situation. Being able to go from a 10 instability with you know using the lancet bringing it down to a 2.1 uh, 0.25 or 2.5 and then and then firing a brand and bringing it down to like a 0.61 is really 
it's it's hard for me to you know to argue against the logic of how much that kind of calms things down. We're gonna call for a landing. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gear down and ro rotate the VTOLs. Andrea says, um, I, would, I like using the surge for the initial load. People might, uh, you know, the double surge or use it too long. I uh, just want to get through that whole area faster. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I really do. I understand why people would want, you know, use the surge. And to be honest with you, especially if you have, you know, maybe a couple prospectors out there working together where a surge and a stampede because you don't need a brant at that point you know you, you get two lasers on one rock and it's it puts it to sleep right so you know you can absolutely kit you know differently if you have like say a team um versus if you're soloing uh and you know and having stampedes to race through the green can make it far more efficient you know because that will ch increase the optimal charge significantly Tina says, rule of thumb, do not use the surge after 10% into the initial white area. Fair enough. You know, there's definitely a, a little bit of an arp to that situation. All right, nice little landing. Touchdown landing there. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Well, we'll see if we can bring this unicorn in. That's just first alarm happening right now, so that's really good. And, uh, you know, first alarm, you, you do, it's uncanny. You do hear that a lot as you're kind of landing, uh, depending on how uh, discerning you had to be on the lasers as well. Andrea says, not a fan of the stampede. The additional instability gives me the creeps. I can appreciate that. Like I said, it's when you get the two lancets together. Two lancets on one rock, you can, you know, it puts it to sleep. I mean, it's, it's you know, um, you know, you get, uh, it is like having a brand there. So, you know, between the two, you get such a wide optimal window. Um, and then it just will help you race through the optimal window. So it's definitely, it's, it's a specialized piece of kit, I think, when you have more than one, um, you know, uh, lancet on every single break, you know, for sure. Let's go ahead and store this guy. Beautiful. That is a full unicorn run. Aaron Halo has been good, very kind the last couple of days. And so we love that. That's a an awesome, you know, full uni. Down the refinery we go, and we'll put this guy in the hopper. Up we go. Throw this guy in the hopper right here. Welcome. Andrea says, I like one surge for the initial load, nothing else for the first break. Brants uh, for all the second breaks. Yeah, the brants for the second breaks are, are really good. This is going to be my 11th work order I have processing, by the way. That's a full 32 SCU, and, uh, and I'm happy to have it. That is nice right there. So we definitely did, uh, did very well there. Now... Um, you know, we did hit experience a couple of the, uh, bugs or whatever, and so um, no big deal there, though. You know, I mean that that it just happens. It's nothing, nothing to lose hope over or whatever. It's just uh, it happens, and so you just kind of have to dig your way through it. So 
hey, you know, I um, have a few things I need to attend to now in life, so um, just want to say, as always, the coffee was fantastic, the Quantanium was great, the company was much better. I really appreciate all of you guys who have been contributing to the channel. Um, you know, I have uh, some exciting stuff coming for the channel. I think we're going to kind of turn it up a notch here. Um, at some point in the future, we're going to start really kind of uh, trying to do a better job with our videos and, um, and doing a lot more just theory crafting in general. So just want to say thank you so much. I hope that you all have a lovely Monday. I'll definitely be back on the same time tomorrow-ish, um, and we will go from there. So everybody... I hope that you find every rock that I don't. I truly wish you guys the best. And um, I will see you all around the verse.